or dare? New hair, don't stare. New hair, I'm not a bear. <laughs> wow, I can't believe the Brookhaven Christmas ball is already tonight. Doesn't it feel like Halloween was like two seconds ago? Totally. I guess time flies when you're having a blast. <laughs> so, what do you want to get for Christmas this year? I don't know. Maybe a private island or a unicorn to take me on adventures? Sky. Okay. moments later. Here, this perfume looks sporty. I bet Josh will like it. Perfect. I'll take it. Moments later. Honey, do you want your father and I to give you a ride to the ball? No, Mom. It's cool. Me and Sky can get there on our own. Is that a different dress? I thought you were going to wear the white one. Yeah, well, plans change. That's true, I suppose. All right, well, your father and I are off. We'll see you later. Hey, girly. Here, check it out, Sky. This dress is blue, Josh's favorite color. He'll have to notice me in this. It's just a pretty dress, so win-win. I really hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. How could he not? Like you said, it's blue, his favorite color. Okay, time for phase three. What's phase three? Are you gonna call him? What's up, TikTok? It's your girl, Mackenzie. I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I love getting swole. Getting swole is why I get up in the morning and what I live for. Getting swole makes me feel whole. All right, happy holidays. I'm gonna go get more swole. Okay. Josh is literally always talking about how he loves getting swole. He is? Yes, and if he checks my TikTok, he'll see that we're totally compatible. Because we love the same things, and he'll be like, clearly we are meant to be together. And then he'll ask me to the dance. Wow, that is so twisted. I love it. <gasps> oh my gosh, look what time it is. Okay, we better get to the dance or we're going to miss it. A few moments later. Yay, here we are. Happy holidays, Sky. Oh no, Mackenzie. What? Are you kidding me? She hates getting swole. I know, and her favorite color is green. How lame is that? Green, really? Ugh, that is so Ashley for some reason. I can't even. Well, I have to do something, right? I can't just take this defeat lying down. I know, you should like cut in. What? No, violence is never the answer. Oh, I mean like cut into their dance so you can be the one who's dancing with him. Oh, but isn't that rude? Like, won't they get mad if I do that? You think? But that's kind of mean, though. Yeah, but then I'll be like, ew, Ashley is gross. It'll automatically like you more. Seriously, it's gonna work. Okay, here I go. Oh, gosh, I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. You don't need it. You're gonna be great. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Hello, loser. What are you doing here? Go back to loser town. Ahem, <clears throat> may I cut in? Ashley, would that be all right with you? Whatever. I want to go get more punch anyways. So, uh, what do you think you'll get for Christmas this year, Mackenzie? I don't know. Maybe, like, headphones or something. Hey, and by the way, did you notice that Ashley totally smells like tacos? What? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, she has this rare medical condition that makes her skin smell like tacos. It's called taco smelliitis. Um, I'm sorry, Mackenzie, but it sounds like you're making that up. No, it's totally true. I swear. Whatever you say. Uh, I'm gonna go get more punch. What happened? He, like, totally didn't believe me. disease that makes her smell like tacos. Oh my gosh, and that is amazing. Like, you are a comedic genius. All right, well, come on then. Where are we going? To get some tacos, of course. A few moments later. Oh no, the tacos came in contact with the Christmas candle. Fire, there's a fire. Uh, he didn't know what I meant when I told you to put the hot sauce on them. Moments later. Whoa, that was 
weird. So lame. The stage was fire, but like in a bad way. Too bad the dance is over, but Josh, I was hoping. Hoping what? Hey, does anybody else smell tacos? Mackenzie, maybe you were right. Right about what? It seems that we can trace the fire back to a pair of tacos that we found left on the stage. Wait a minute, so there were actual tacos in there? Josh, I can explain. No, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you would play a prank that involves an illness. There might be real people who suffer from taco smelliitis. That's just so not cool to joke about it. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Yeah, she ran that way. There, there, Mackenzie. Everything is gonna be okay. Mackenzie, is everything okay? No, Mom. I really screwed up. Everything is my fault. And the stupid taco's fault. Well, that doesn't make any sense, but now I'm hungry. Where's Dad? Your father had to go pick up some last-minute Christmas decorations for the house. Fine. Can you just take me home now, please? I just want to go home. Of course, sweetie. Meanwhile... trace the fire back to a couple of tacos that local schoolgirl Mackenzie bought to try and pass off her bully as having taco smelliitis, a rare genetic disorder that makes someone's skin smell like tacos. We have not confirmed with medical authorities if this kind of disease really does exist or if Mackenzie was just trying to get revenge on her bully. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile... Why did I do that? I feel like such an idiot. Seriously. How could I not realize that something I was doing was just so wrong? I'm not usually like that. Why didn't I realize that getting those tacos were all wrong and stuff? No, Mackenzie. How could you know the tacos were so flammable? This isn't your fault. I just wanted Josh to like me and for him to stop dancing with Ashley. And to dance with me. That's all I want for Christmas. I don't care about toys or anything. Ugh, I can't believe this blow up in my face so bad. Listen, Mackenzie. I You know that? Maybe next year I'll just hide out until New Year's. Come on, Mackenzie. Just meet me at the ice cream shop. Okay, okay. A few moments later. Okay, I thought about it on the way over here, and I think that it was karma. What's a karma? Is it like a caramel? No, it's like this thing where if you behave badly to other people, then bad things will happen to you. So that it, like, evens the score or whatever. Oh, I don't know. That doesn't sound like a real thing. No, but think about it. If I didn't tell Josh that Ashley smelled like tacos, then we never would have gone to buy the tacos and the dance wouldn't have caught on fire. And then it wouldn't have made the news and Josh wouldn't think I was the lamest person ever. Which I'm sure is what he thinks about me now after all this has happened. True, but... No, this is all my fault. From now on, no matter how mean Ayla and Ashley are to me, I am never going to be mean back. I don't ever want to go through something like this again. Well, here's your chance to dance it out now. Ugh, why are they always everywhere? situation right i'm gonna raise money for the fire damages and i really think that you should help me too just for your own karma uh fine i'll help you but not because i believe in karma just because i believe in friendship the next day attention brookhaven students i am having a big sale today to fundraise for the fire damages at the dance yeah and i'm helping her because i'm like super nice and stuff we've got donuts we've got brownies and my personal favorite we've got croissants so come see us and buy stuff to support our cause. 
later that same evening. Congratulations, Sky and Mackenzie, for fundraising and raising enough money with their goodies to pay for all of the fire damages that they caused at the dance. Come on, Mackenzie, get up here and give us a little speech. Hello, everyone. Uh, I think a lot of you know that I started the fire. And if you didn't know before, I guess you know now. The thing is, maybe I wasn't trying to start the fire on purpose, but I was definitely trying to cause a problem that night. In fact, I should definitely make Santa's naughty list this year. I don't deserve a present because I lied to someone who I care about. And the only reason that I did it was to try and make someone I don't like look bad. But now I realize that being a good person isn't only about getting presents or having people like you, but it's also about liking yourself. How are you supposed to like yourself if you're the kind of person who does mean things to other people? You're not. In order to build self-esteem, you have to be able to do self-esteem acts. I'm glad I could compensate for the damage that I've done. And for no other reason than now, I can love myself a little bit better. And in doing so, I can love everyone else better too. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. Wow, Mackenzie, I think that's pretty dope and cool what you said back there. I'm sorry I was so harsh on you about the whole taco thing. No, you were right. I'm glad you were harsh about it. Because it forced me to work on myself and grow. Well, that's cool then. Uh, hey, Mackenzie? Yeah, Josh? Uh, I have a Christmas present for you if you want it. Oh, yeah? What is it? A kiss. Well, then I definitely want it. Mwah! <laughs> She's pregnant! Oh my gosh, right away! Is she okay? What's going on? Is she in any pain? No, nothing like that. I'm just really, really cold. Huh? We get pregnant women in here all the time, and I don't think I've ever heard any of them complain about being cold. Isn't that something like a heater can fix? And also, it's the winter time, so yeah, it's cold outside. No, no, you don't understand. My stomach, it's freezing. Like, it's made of ice. That can't be normal. I can't warm myself up. If she's cold, our baby has to be cold too, right? I mean, that's how it works. I'm afraid I'm gonna freeze to death. I've sat in front of the fire all day and nothing is helping. Trust me, it's Christmas. We don't want to be in the hospital if we don't have to. Um, why don't I get you checked in and have a doctor come see you? I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. Meanwhile... Oh, good thing we came in when we did. I can't believe it. A little Christmas baby and she's all ours. What should we name her? Well, I've always loved the name Mackenzie. It's absolutely perfect for her. Mackenzie. How are you all doing in here? We're doing great. Just glad we chose to come into the hospital tonight. Otherwise, little Mackenzie here might have been born in the back of Santa's sleigh. And are you still cold? We can bring in another blanket if you need. You know what? It's the weirdest thing, but I feel fine now. As soon as she was born, I wasn't freezing anymore. And that cold feeling in my stomach, it just went away. I don't know. Maybe it was just the nerves. Must have been. I can surely say I've never had someone complain about their stomach feeling frozen while giving birth. But you learn something new every day. Now, why don't I take little Mackenzie to go get checked out just to make sure she is nice and healthy. Sure, yeah, here you go. Oh. What? What is it? What's wrong? Oh my god, I don't know what happened, but I suddenly just got so cold. See, that's exactly how I felt. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. I'm freezing. What is it? Do you think it's a problem with the heating? No, it seems like the coldness is coming from from the baby. As soon as I held her, my entire body turned cold. It's like she's made of ice. No way. Our sweet little Mackenzie couldn't be made of ice. Oh no. I can't feel my hands anymore. Doctor? Doctor Min, sir, are you okay? Oh, he's right. She is cold. Did our baby just freeze the doctor? <laughs> She's completely unaffected by it. Oh my god, honey, do you know what this means? That we just had an ice baby and that's the reason my stomach was so cold when she was in there? And not just that, she has the power to turn people to ice! Woohoo! Look at me, mommy, I'm a beautiful queen! Mackenzie, don't! Ugh, Mackenzie, you know what happens when you get too wound up and touch things. Do you know what it's gonna be like to clean up all the snow in the kitchen? I'm sorry, mommy, I didn't mean no, you didn't mean to, but honey, for the sake of everyone involved, you need to learn to control that power of yours. I'm really trying. I don't mean to freeze everything I touch. Really, it's an accident. Well, unless I want a popsicle and then touch the juice to make it freeze. Honey, I know, 
know, but you can't just keep causing snowstorms in the house, and certainly not in public. Do you know how hard it is to explain that incident to your dentist? He's the one who touched me. What else did you expect to happen? Uh, Mackenzie, please stop. You have to stop running around the house. It's not a playground. Well then, can you take me to the real playground? You no, know, I'd love to, but I can't. But what happened if you were to touch the swings and freeze when a child is on them? Mackenzie, you could freeze their butts. <laughs> that would be really funny. Now, when the parents find out and sue us, you need to learn to be more responsible. Sorry, I'm just bored, that's all. I want to go to school. And I want to have other friends my age. You know, like normal friends. I love you, Mommy, but I'm tired of being in the house all the time. Oh, Mackenzie, sweetheart, we've been over this. You can't go to school until you can learn to control your powers. Well, why not? Why not? You could accidentally freeze one of your classmates. Then what would you do? You can't be out there in the world making it snow indoors and in the summer. But I thought you said being different was a good thing. It is. Well then, what's the problem? It's not always an easy thing. Being different is something people can use against you. And while you may not think it's a big deal, kids can be very cruel. If any of them were to find out that you had special ice powers, you'd be an outcast and I just don't want that for you. But what if nobody had to know? Ugh, come with me. Meanwhile. What are you looking for, Mommy? I swear, it's gotta be here somewhere. Aha, here it is. Here, put these on. Um, Mom, why am I wearing mittens? Somebody gave these to you when you were born. They're Christmas gloves for our little Christmas angel. Why do I have to wear them? My hands can't breathe. I don't know. Go ahead and touch something. <gasps> what? What is it, Mommy? Kenzie, this is wonderful. You touched something and it didn't freeze or start for sure after you froze that doctor when you were born you were doomed to live your life hiding but with these with these gloves you can have a normal life so now i have to wear these gloves all the time only when you're out of the house but do you know what this means this means you can go to school and that concludes our test review portion now a reminder that this math test is 40 percent of your grade so please study tonight you are all required to take your test tomorrow Psst. Girly! You don't have to whisper, Sky. I can hear you. Okay, so what would you think about making tomorrow a snow day? Sky, it's May. So, global warming is getting super bad. Everyone talking about it, it would be totally believable. No, I'm not gonna make tomorrow a snow day just so you don't have to take a math test. It's not just so I don't have to take a math test, it's so we don't have to take a math test. Sorry, but the answer is still no. Besides, you're not even supposed to know that I have ice powers, remember? Come on, girly. I'm your best friend. I'm clearly gonna know your deepest, darkest secrets. Yeah, right. You're just lucky that when we were playing Truth or Dare, I happened to choose truth. And then you asked what my biggest secret was. Well, I'm glad you respected the rules of Truth or Dare and told me. The flattery is nice, but I'm still not gonna make it snow. Meanwhile... I'm so glad we ditched that class to get starbies. Oh my gosh, did you hear that, Ashley? The test is 40% of our grade. I should really get started studying for us. Ugh, Ayla, shut up. I can't even hear myself think with all your yammering. Well, what are you thinking about? Oh, nothing in particular, just about how much of a loser Mackenzie is. Oh, isn't that like every day? Think about it, it's May. I've been trying on bathing suits and that little freak is still wearing Christmas gloves. There is something seriously wrong with her. Eh, I don't know, maybe she just really loves Christmas. It is her birthday, or her hands get really cold. It's happened to me. Well, I don't buy it. I wonder if that little loser is hiding something. Like, maybe she has claws instead of hands. Or maybe her fingernails are like super gross. Well, how are you gonna find out? pull her gloves off. But that's her personal space. Pulling them off would be an invasion of her privacy. Oh my gosh, Ayla, you seriously disgust me. Wait for me, Ashley! A few moments later. So, you're like dead set against the snow? Sky, for the last time, yes. Uh, as if our day can't get any worse. What are you talking about, Red Free? What do you want, Ashley? You should be busy studying for the math test, which you would know if you'd actually be in class. Well, sorry I wasn't there with my nose in a book, loser. You know, in fact, I was talking about you and wondering why on earth you wear gloves in the spring. Give me those! Ashley, this isn't funny. Stop! Give them back! Aw, little baby's gonna have a tantrum without her mittens. What's so wrong, Mackenzie? You really want them? Um, Ashley, I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're doing. Come on, Mackenzie, if you want them back, just come and get them from me. Give them back to me. Stay calm, girly. Stay calm. What are you going to do, freak? Uh-oh. Whoa, what the heck is going on? It's snowing in May and inside? Mackenzie, what did you do? Everyone, Mackenzie did it with some weird special ice power. I mean, I knew you were a freak, but I didn't know you were a super freak. Oh, my God. I can't believe I just did that in front of everyone. I can never come back here again. 
walking alone to the grocery store to pick myself up a birthday cake. If that's not a sad life, I don't know what is. Well, on the plus side, if I live alone, I won't have any interactions with humans. Which means I can keep everyone safe and not buried in the snow. Oh, uh, how am I ever going to get this darn sleigh off the ground? If I can't get my sleigh off the ground, I can't deliver presents to all the children in the world and Christmas as we know it will be ruined. Oh my gosh, Santa? Is that really you? Oh darn it, and now I'm being recognized in public. This really is the lowest of the low for Santa Claus. No, 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 don't worry. I'm not gonna out you to the kids. You're not coming to my house anyways, because I'm a grown-up. I'm just a big fan, and it's my birthday on Christmas. Oh, well, happy early birthday to you, Mackenzie. How do you know my name? Oh, right, duh, you're Santa. Anyways, I don't mean to be nosy, but why is your sleigh on the ground instead of in the air? It's this darn global warming. The water is so warm on Christmas. When there's no snow in the sky, I can't get my sleigh in the air. And if I can't get my sleigh in the air, I won't be able to deliver the rest of the presents and Christmas will be ruined. Well, we can't have Christmas be ruined. Here, let me try and help. Well, thank you, Mackenzie. I appreciate it, but I don't think... There you go, Santa. That ought to help. I mean, it's snow. Oh my god. How did you do that? It's kind of a special power of mine. I can freeze whatever I touch and make it snow whenever I want. You'd think it was cooler, but it's really made me an outcast. Well, not where I live. In fact, it would make you a queen. Kenzie, how would you like to come live in the North Pole with me? You would be the new ice queen of Christmas. We could build you an ice palace, and I promise the elves would take very good care of you. An ice queen? Say no more. I'm in. This power doesn't really get me much here in Brookhaven. It would be nice to be around people who really understand me. All righty then. Hop on my sleigh. On Dasher. On Dancer. Oh, right. That's your job. Wow, I can't believe after all these years, Santa finally let me fly the sleigh. I mean, he must really trust me. My next job after being an ice queen can be the first female Santa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you believe it's Christmas Eve? I am so excited I can burst. I know, right? I feel like I can explode into a million pieces and then fall to the ground of snow. And then all the mini snowflakes would be like little skies. And they would be so cute and snowy. <laughs> totally. You think you'll get good presents this year? I think so. I wrote a really long letter to Santa with tons of very specific instructions and descriptions. Mine was very short and sweet, but I included the URLs on where to order everything from. <laughs> oh, that is so smart. I should have done that. I know, right? <laughs> Next time. Totally. <laughs> well, we better head back home. I want to go straight to sleep. That way, tomorrow morning will come even faster. Me too. I'm not even going to eat dinner. I'm just going to run straight to bed. <laughs> Meanwhile. Oh, I hate Christmas. Everyone is so happy and jolly all the time. It makes me so angry. Oh, and don't even get me started about all those stupid hanging lights. Also, Santa Claus's outfit is like so lame and weird. Red and white. What are you, the Canadian flag? Come on now. I've really had it with all this nonsense. <gasps> Wait a minute. I just remembered something. I'm a witch. And that means I can just put a curse on the whole town so that nobody can enjoy Christmas. Yes, that will make all of this considerably less annoying and possibly even enjoyable. <laughs> hmm, let's see here. What kind of curse should I put on the town? <gasps> I know this will be so funny. The next day. Camilla, can someone get someone on the phone to explain why I woke up with this weird mustache? Here, I can hand you a list of phone numbers. Uh, I can't seem to pick them. <laughs> wow! Meanwhile. <laughs> Some kind of new virus or just some kind of strange Christmas curse 
remains to be seen. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. I'm going to go get the pancake <gasps> mix. I'll put the coffee <gasps> on. Meanwhile. Come on, I'm a model. I can do this. I can look in the mirror. I'm sure it's not that bad. Maybe it'll make me more interesting in the editorial shoot I have planned later on today. <gasps> Meanwhile, I couldn't even pick up my presents. This is horrible. The whole holiday is ruined. I'm so sad. I wish I knew how to help this situation. But I feel so useless. Like nothing will work. I know. I can't even tell if Santa figured out exactly what I wanted without me providing the proper URL. Hey, losers. <laughs> what is this, Super Mario? Why do you both have ugly mustaches? Yeah. Did you both just hit puberty? Yeah. Um, have either of you even looked in the mirror today? Moments later. Okay, well, that literally gave us no information. Yeah, all she did was like buy groceries. Come on, let's keep following her. Okay, coming. One hour later. I don't understand. All she did was get some stuff from the grocery store, mail a letter, and get a latte. There's literally no information that we could have gathered from all of that. Yeah, like it's almost like she knew she was being followed or something and tried to just be like super boring and stuff. Like, literally, I never. Which means you 
would know how to make it unhappen. And we would really love it if it could unhappen. Like, now maybe? So we can enjoy the rest of Christmas? Yeah, I waited all year for this day, and I'm not gonna let some weird old witch ruin it for me just because she's unhappy. Sky? That's right. I suppose in a way I let you girls in under false pretenses. You see, I made you believe somehow that I cared about what you wanted, and I don't. You see, the only reason I let you into my house is because children are my favorite meal. A few moments later. Excuse me, what spices taste the best with two little scrumptious girls? Wait a minute, never mind, I remember. I just need some turmeric and cumin. Maybe some ginger root? Yes, that was the recipe I used last time. Meanwhile. I feel terrible, this is all my fault. You said it was a bad idea to knock on her door. And you were right, Sky. if only I'd listened to you. It's okay, girly, I'm your bestie, which means I'm your ride or die. We were running out of options for lifting the curse on this town. For what it's worth, I think we we're very brave for coming here. You know something? You're right. We came here because we cared about the people in Brookhaven. And in a way, that's what Christmas is all about. Doing things for the people you care about. Yes, now we just need someone to do something for us to get us the heck out of here. Amen, sister. Meanwhile. Did you find everything you were looking for, ma'am? I did, thank you. I'm getting hungry just looking at all of it. Oh, wonderful. Hey, why doesn't that lady have a weird mustache like the rest of us? You're right, she doesn't have a mustache like us. What the heck makes her so special that she's the exception? This is outrageous. It is outrageous, and you know what? If she doesn't have a mustache, she's probably the one who caused all of this hula bula. You mean you think it's her fault that I'm a 34-year-old woman with a comically dark mustache? I agree. Let's call the police. Oh, I am way ahead of you. Where is the unmustached woman? Show her to me. She's right over here, officer. She must be arrested at once. This is outrageous. How dare she not have a mustache when the rest of us have to suffer such acute humiliation. And on Christmas, no less. What? You don't understand. I just have a clean clothes shave. I have a mustache, too. I'm just very good at eliminating facial hair. So what if I like eating children? That's just a detail. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Did she just say she likes to eat children? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, wait a second. Maybe she meant like Sour Patch children. No, I meant real children. Which children? Where are they? Okay, how about this? Let's make a deal. If I reverse the spell I put on the town and make everything go back to normal and I let those two little girls go free, will you give me qualified immunity? Well, I really do hate this mustache. Fine, you got a deal. The next day... Breaking news here in Brookhaven. It seems that a local witch was the culprit in yesterday's mustache mayhem. After being arrested, the witch struck a deal to lift the curse and also release two brave little girls, Mackenzie and Skye, who had confronted the witch earlier in the day and who she was planning on eating. As always, wow, nothing ceases to surprise and amaze me in this town. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Is it weird that I kind of missed the mustache? Yes. It was just kind of fun to twirl and it made me feel a little sneaky or something. I mean, I guess we could get you a fake one if you want. That'll have to do for now. Later that same evening. Mackenzie, come downstairs. With all that craziness that went on yesterday, you never actually got a chance to open all your presents. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yay. Well, I know it's not exactly Christmas anymore, but since we're opening presents, I'll say I love you, Mom and Dad. Christmas, honey. Oh my gosh, only one more night until I can see Santa and his sleigh when I look out the window. I just love Christmas so, so, so much. I cannot wait for it to be here. You know what? This room isn't quite Christmassy enough. I'm gonna go downstairs and wait by the tree until Christmas is finally here. A few moments later. All I have to do now is finish waiting for Santa. Ooh, I should get him some milk and cookies so he has something to eat when he comes down to the chimney. I better go preheat the oven so the cookies are all ready.
ready for him. Ronald, what on earth are you doing? Don't be mad, Mommy. I'm just waiting for Santa. That's all. I'm so excited for Christmas. I can't help myself. Son, enough with this Christmas nonsense. Now, don't be standing at the tree all night and get to bed. But, Dad, I'm not doing anything. I just wanted to wait up for Santa. There's only one sleep left until Christmas, and I figure that if I stay real quiet, maybe I get to see him. Ugh, enough about that. Let's just take the tree and throw these presents in the garage. What? Why would you do that? Please, no. Because Christmas is canceled for you this year. There will be no Christmas in this house, so you can forget all about Santa coming. But, but what about all the reindeer and the presents and the caroling and the Christmas magic? Well, there won't be any of that here so you can just forget about it. This is a no Christmas zone. Why? Why are you guys doing this to me? Because we're your parents and we can do whatever we want. Well, someday when I grow up, I'm going to be the mayor and I'll take Christmas away from all the other kids in Brookhaven just like you've been taking it away from me. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is the mayor of Brookhaven. I would like to suspend all Christmas broadcasting at the news station immediately. I don't know if you guys have gotten the memo, but Christmas is hereby canceled. And regular programming should continue on in its place. No, I don't care that it's supposed to be the happiest time of the year. It is not happening on my watch. Ugh, I just hate this time of year. Everyone acting so jolly with candy canes literally coming out of their mouths. Well, not in my town. And they all thought the Grinch was bad. I'm not stealing Christmas. I'm just canceling it. <laughs> oh, heck no. A few moments later. A humbug, you two varmints. Better not be throwing snowballs in my office. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mayor. We were just having a snowball fight. We didn't mean to hit your window. Yeah, we're really sorry. You two are lucky that I didn't take you right down to the police station myself. What? on earth would you take part in such a dumb activity? Um, 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 what? Cause it's almost Christmas? Yeah, we're just getting excited about Christmas, that's all. Please don't be mad at us, Mr. Mayor Sir Man. Oh, so you think it's okay to do this because it's Christmas, huh? Well, let me pass on a little word to you. Christmas is canceled. <gasps> no, you can't do that. This is my town and I can do whatever I want. That's the whole reason I became mayor. So start spreading the word to all your little friends that there will be no Christmas. Meanwhile. Wow, I totally didn't expect the book to take this kind of a turn. Did you get to this part yet, girly? <laughs> again at recess? I wish. No, I was just thinking about Christmas again. It's our last class before Christmas break. Kind of hard to focus on anything else but that. And there's the cutest little snowstorm forming outside. I mean, look at all the pretty dancing flakes. Girly, I'm pretty sure those were particles of dust floating by. I mean, it's not even snowing outside. Well, look at you being all grinchy. How are you not psyched for Christmas? Hey, I never said I wasn't. Just because I'm not making up imaginary snowstorms in my head doesn't mean I'm not excited. Don't you just feel that everything in the entire year is just all leading up until Christmas? I mean, it's technically the last fun thing of the year until January 1st. So really, everything before that is just leading up to it. And we're going to make this Christmas the best one ever. Uh, uh, a two! Bless you! Jinx! Hey, no fair, girly. I wasn't ready. You know the rule of jinx. There is no ready. Now, under the rules of jinx, you are not allowed to speak until I say so. So, so, let's say until Christmas Day. Christmas Day? Sky! Oh, right. Sorry, no speaking. Starting now. Mr. Principal Man, sir, is everything okay? You never come by unannounced on the last day before Christmas break. Thanks, Mrs. Teacher Lady Ma'am. I'm afraid I have some bad news for the students. You will please give me a moment to talk with your students. I am so sorry to interrupt this class. Of course, Mr. Principal. Go ahead. Class, please give your undivided attention to the principal. Oh, well, this ought to be good. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, boys and girls. I am really sorry to do this in light of the upcoming holiday, but I have some disappointing news for all of you. It is with great sadness that I tell you Christmas will be canceled this year. What? Why? No, you can't do that. Believe me, I didn't. This wasn't my doing. This is a direct order from the mayor of Brookhaven. He has ordered everyone to cancel Christmas immediately. I know this will be very disappointing for a lot of you, including me, who is supposed to go deck the halls tonight and trim the tree with the Mrs. Principal. Ugh, someone married the principal? Gross. But you can't take Christmas away from us. Ew! Oh my gosh, no, Sky. If we don't have Christmas, then you'll never get the jinx lifted. And then you'll never be able to talk again. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. I'm all in favor for Sky not being able to talk ever again. So if that means no Christmas, I'm all for it. Shut up, Ashley. This is an emergency. That's it. I need to find a mall Santa. I'm sorry, but on the mayor's orders, all mall Santas have been fired and the town of Brookhaven is being de christmas as we speak. Oh no, 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 no. Then what am I going to do if Sky is never to speak again? Then it's going to be all my fault. <laughs> Here in Brookhaven, I am getting reports from the mayor that for the first time in Brookhaven history, the beloved holiday known as Christmas will be canceled. Oh my gosh, it's even reached the news. They're still uncovering more on this story, but from what I've been told, everyone is to go about their business on December 25th as if there were any other day. The Brookhaven tree lighting has been canceled along with school break and Santa pictures at Town Hall. All students are to report to school on December 25th or face disciplinary actions. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, Sky. I feel the same way. I literally don't know how this is happening. We're gonna be one of those creepy little clay movies about the town who forgot about Christmas. And I thought the mayor of Whoville was bad. But our mayor is giving him a serious run for our money. Mm -hmm. I know. I don't know what I'll do if we can't get the jinx lifted either. It's only been a few hours of you not being able to talk, and I already feel like I'm going insane. Who knew I needed to hear your voice so much? <coughs> don't worry. I'm not giving up on you, though. I have a plan. Just don't ask what it is. Sorry, that was dumb, considering you can't really ask. I know what I'm going to do, though, and this will work. I promise. <coughs> You're right. If I'm gonna talk to the mayor, I should probably go and take off my Christmas sweater. No, Sky, for someone without words, you really do get your point across. Moments later. Now, this is what I want to see. The town in darkness. Not a Christmas light to be seen. No Santa. No ridiculous singing with all those hats and big skirts. No Christmas. Just how I like it. Um, hello? Mr. Mayor? My office is closed. Go home, little girl. My name's Mackenzie, and I'm one of the ones who you took Christmas from. Don't be ridiculous. I took Christmas away from everyone, not just you. Well, why did you do that? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Why? You ask why? I see, you know. I see all of your little families out there with your trees and your colored lights. Well, I didn't get that as a kid. I watched my tree be taken down out of my house and my presents thrown in the trash. So if my Christmas was canceled, then everyone else's should be too. Wow, that really sucks. I'm sorry that happened to you. But taking Christmas away from everyone else doesn't really cancel it. You know that? Of course it does. Don't be silly. I got rid of all the decorations and presents. There's no Christmas without any of that. Have you ever seen the Grinch and how he realized that Christmas is, isn't really found in a store? It's not about the trees, the decorations. It's about being with your family and being surrounded by the people who you love, whether that's with a tree or presents or even in a cardboard box. You can take it away from us, but you can't cancel Christmas in our hearts. I know what you're trying to do, and it's not going to work. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just trying to have you see that I'm really sorry that you didn't have a good Christmas as a kid. But isn't that even more of a reason to try and change that? You're not responsible for what happens to you as a kid or how your family acts. But look at you. You grew up to be the mayor. Sure, your parents weren't good to you, but now you have the ability to change that and you can redefine what christmas really means to you listen this is all very sweet and maybe you have a future in politics but and i forgot you can't say nobody's never given you a christmas present because i've got one right here for you now you got me a present of course it's christmas even the mayor deserves a present oh my god what have i done what have i done christmas i i ruined it it's in two days and i canceled it oh my gosh i'm worse than the mayor in whoville mr mayor don't panic it's okay i know 
it seems really bad, but there's still time. Mackenzie, will you help me save Christmas? Um, of course. Saving Christmas is only one of my favorite things to do. Alrighty then, we'd better work quickly to get things on track before it's too late. Many hours later. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. In a strange twist of events, it seems like Christmas is back. Come in on what exactly happened, but from what I'm hearing, everyone is scrambling to get Brookhaven back into gear and ready for Christmas. I don't know if our radios reached the North Pole, but let's sure hope Santa gets word that Christmas in Brookhaven is officially on and we have kids in need of presents. Oh, sorry about that. It seems like I'm being called to help assemble the tree in Town Hall. We need all hands on deck, folks. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. The next morning. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's finally here. Oh my gosh, Sky, 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 wake up. It's Christmas. No, oh, I didn't mean to show up to school in my pajamas with a stuffed bunny. Oh my gosh, you're talking. Sky, get up. Huh, girly? Sky, you're back. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Hey, uh, never call Jinx again. I feel like I miss saying so much in just a few days. Did we really have Christmas cancel on us? And then back at the last minute? Yeah, we did. We saved Christmas and got your voice back. Now that we saved it, how about we go open some presents? Not so fast. I have two days of unspoken things I need to catch you up on. Okay, so first... Ugh, this is the hardest day of the year. What are you talking about? The day before Christmas break is the best day ever. I literally have dreamed about this day. No, exactly. How are we supposed to focus on school when as soon as that bell rings, we have absolute freedom? Christmas shopping and Santa pictures at the mall and skating and sledding down the hill. Ah, I can hardly contain my excitement. I don't think you're supposed to focus on school the last day before winter break. I'm pretty sure that's why Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is playing on TV. Oh, I thought that was just to get us in the Christmas mood. Oh, I do not need any help getting in the mood for Christmas. I've been in it since last January, and this is going to be the best Christmas ever. How come, girly? For one, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a white Christmas. And nothing says Christmas time like waking up to a blanket of fresh snow. Hey, as long as I'm not the one who has to shovel the driveway, I'm good. I don't think I can last here till 3 o'clock. I can't wait. That's what I'm telling you. It's a crime we even need to be in school today. Agree. We should just get like the whole month of December off. Now that's what I'm talking about. What are you two losers talking about? Oh, just how you were down in Whoville stealing all the toys. Oh my god, who just called Ashley the Grinch? That's hysterical. Excuse me? Uh, I mean, that is so not funny. How could you? Haha, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Like I would ever go down to such a pathetic place. You do know that it's fictional, right? Ugh, you and your big fancy words. What do you want, Ashley? We were just talking about Christmas break and how excited we are. Why are you so excited? Yeah, why are you so excited? You're kidding, right? It's Christmas. Santa, presents. You know, the big guy who lives in the North Pole with a big beard and red suit? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh my God, you guys still believe in Santa? That's adorable. So adorable, right, Ashley? What? this to you, but for one, there's no such thing as Santa. Yeah, there's no such thing as Santa. It's just a fat guy at the mall. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Of course there's such thing as Santa. Are you really that dumb? Of course there's no such thing as Santa. My parents told me that like three years ago. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. You are way too old to believe in Santa. That's for babies. And besides, even if he was real, which he's not, Brookhaven this year anyways. And why not? Do you watch the news? We're getting a huge snowstorm and a ton of fog coming in on Christmas Eve. Santa would never be able to fly in that. All the flights out of Brookhaven are grounded. Christmas is basically canceled. I'm sorry, are you not aware that there's a movie playing in Home Room right now about a red-nosed reindeer that pretty much goes against everything you're saying? Thanks to Rudolph, the universe has a way that Santa can fly in bad weather. Oh, even Rudolph couldn't fly through this fog. Get real, guys. Wait, so you're saying you do believe? No, Ayla, keep up. Ugh. Wait for me, Ashley. You don't believe what they said, do you? I don't know what to believe anymore, Sky. 
later that same evening. So, how was everyone's day? Same old, getting ready for a day off. Mackenzie, how was your last day of school before Christmas break? <laughs> Mackenzie? Huh, me? What? What's going on with you? You've hardly said a thing since you've been home. Is something wrong? Uh, it's just something Ashley said today at school that's bugging me. Oh dear, what did she say? She said that there was no such thing as Santa Claus. Oh! What? What is it? Honey, well, we don't agree with Ashley bullying you. Maybe it's time the three of us have a talk. About what? Mackenzie, don't you think you're a little too old to still believe in Santa Claus? No, I don't! What I think your dad and maybe even Ashley are saying is that it's time you know the truth about Santa. What truth? What do you mean? Mackenzie, come on, you're in middle school. You're a little too old to still think he's the one leaving the presents. But he is. Sweetie, we're just helping you not get bullied. So you're saying there's no such thing as Christmas? Of course there's such thing as Christmas, but maybe that's all Santa is. A nice holiday memory. The next morning. Ah, finally it's morning. Only one more sleep until Christmas. At least Ashley was wrong about one thing. The weather isn't bad. <gasps> One hour later. Oh, Bummer, why does Ashley always have to be right? That really gets me. Forget about that, Sky. We have a much bigger problem here. Bigger problem than Ashley? That's saying a lot. Sky, listen to me. There isn't going to be a Christmas this year. Okay, now that certainly is bigger. Are you sure? Look, I know what Ashley and my parents both said about Santa, but it isn't true. I'm sure of it, and I'm not going to let them turn me into a non-believer. I believe in Christmas, but I also believe in facts. over for a plan. Oh, come on, girly. You know you're the planner here. Okay, okay. Hmm, let me think. Mason, nobody's gonna believe us about Santa or even care that he can't come to Brookhaven tonight. Well, what does that mean? That means if we're gonna save Christmas, it's gonna be on us. We're gonna need a miracle then. You're telling me. And we have less than 24 hours until Christmas. How are we gonna pull this off? I don't know. I say we look for a miracle. I think I heard somewhere about buying miracles on 34th Street. But I appreciate the enthusiasm in Project Save Christmas. I like the name. You can't have a proper plan without a name. A few moments later. Do we watch The Grinch? Um, no, girly. Elf is totally the best Christmas movie. We need to watch Elf. Are you kidding? It's 100% The Grinch. Dad, put on The Grinch. I will rock, paper, scissors in for it. I don't need a rock, paper, scissors. I win. We're watching the news. Oh, man. Hey, this is my house, my TV. <laughs> Underfoot, the fate of Christmas hangs on the balance. Here is Mayor Ronald Stump with more. Thank you, Laura. We've been getting reports of severe fog and snow since the early morning. So it is with a heavy heart that I've decided to cancel Christmas for the town of Brookhaven. What? Shh. This is the worst thing I've ever had to do in my history of being there, but it is the only scenario to keep everyone safe. No one is to go outside or enter the town, and that includes old Saint Nick. I'm sorry that it has come to this, but there is always next year. It would take a miracle to get Christmas up and running. Back to you, Laura. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We are sorry to hear about the fate of Christmas, but hoping everyone here in Brookhaven will stay safe during this time. This is Laura. Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Well, we heard it here first. I guess Christmas is canceled. What? We can't just give up. The mayor just announced that it was canceled, Mackenzie. What else are we supposed to do? Sky, come with me. I have a plan. Oh, boy. Meanwhile. What's the plan? I'm thinking. You're thinking? When you called me up here, you said you had a plan. Okay, well, I kind of do. Go on. We need to get a hold of Santa. Oh, yeah, because that will be so easy to do. Let's just look him up. listed somewhere. If Santa is number listed somewhere, don't you think kids all over the place would just text in their Christmas list instead of writing to the North Pole? Perhaps, but think about it. Nobody believes in Santa anymore. So, even if his phone number is out there, no one will think it's the real him. I still don't know where you're gonna get his number. Well, let's look it up. Aha! Got it! Yeah, right! That's probably just a mall Santa! No, it's the North Pole area code. Shh, I'm calling! Hello, McKenzie!
Mackenzie from Brookhaven. This is the North Pole Express. How can I help you? Hey, how do you know my name? We serve all the children in the world. It's kind of our job to know your name and where you live. It's real. <gasps> is this Santa? Oh, don't be silly. He's far too busy to be taking phone calls this close to Christmas. I'm one of his elves. Oh, hello. Well, I'm calling because earlier today, our mayor said that Christmas is canceled in Brookhaven. Christmas canceled? Oh, no, no. Here in the North Pole, we would never have that happen. We wouldn't even think of it. We're gonna need a miracle down here because the weather is really bad and Rudolph's nose won't even make it through it. Are you saying Rudolph's nose isn't bright enough to guide Santa's sleigh? Not in the least. He's gonna need backup. Well, thank you so much for letting us know, Mackenzie. I'll be sure to pass the message along to the big guy. I'm gonna be honest, though. It's Christmas Eve, so I'm not sure how much can be done in such a short time. Are you saying we're not gonna have Christmas? I'm saying I'm gonna try. You better pray for a miracle. A few moments later. Honey, you made a wonderful meal. Thank you. Girls, how come you're barely eating your food? I'm just worried, I guess. Worried about what? Just wondering if it's too late or if Santa will make it here. Mackenzie, I thought we talked about the Santa thing. My parents talked to me about it too. Really didn't do much. I know you guys are just trying to spare my feelings and keep me from getting made fun of. But none of it will really matter unless Christmas can be saved. Later that night. <sighs> Sky, did you hear that? No. <laughs> Chimney. If it's Santa and he hears us, he'll leave. I don't care. I'm gonna go check it out. Are you coming or not? Of course I'm coming, girly. I just had to state the fact. Moments later. <gasps> Sky, there he is. Shh, you're gonna scare him off. I'm too excited. I can't help it. He came. It's a Christmas miracle. Ho, ho, ho. Aren't you two supposed to be in bed? I told you so. If we're not getting presents now, it's her fault. I'm sorry, Santa. I just couldn't help it. I'm so glad to see you. I thought Christmas was gonna be canceled this year, and you'd never find your way to Brookhaven. Oh, of course not. The spirit of Christmas lives deep in our hearts. It can never be canceled with a little fog, or a lot of fog in this case. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Well, thank you for your phone call, Mackenzie. The elves told me right away. Oh my god, Santa got your message. That is so cool. Of course, Santa. How did you get here in such bad weather? A little Christmas magic. I can never reveal all my secrets now, can I? Of course not. You two have been very good girls this year. I am very proud of you. Well done. Bye, thank you. Thanks, Santa. And I want to thank both of you for continuing to believe in me and the spirit of Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Always. Oh, and tell we're old ladies for sure. You have no idea how many kids have stopped believing in me, so you do make sure you spread the magic wherever you go. We will, Santa. Promise. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to deliver some coal to a little girl named Ashley. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura, and today we have a special guest, Mr. Ronald Stump. Hello, everyone. It is such an honor to be on the Breaking News with Laura for this story. I know, right? Christmas is the best time of year, and this story is always the most fun to cover. I totally agree. As you all know, it's time for the yearly event where the kids of Brookhaven chase Santa around the town, and the first to catch Santa gets a Christmas wish. How magical. Always my favorite thing to congratulate the winner every year and see what they wish for. This year will be my son's first year. Oh my god, that is so cute and wholesome. He is growing up so so fast. He's gonna be such a gentleman when he's older. He definitely better be. As always, good luck to all the participants in this year's event. That's it. And that's all for today's breaking news segment. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile. Oh, I am too old for this. I just want to break. Hi, honey. Uh, how's it going? Terrible. Why is that? Oh, you know. Elaborate a little more for me. I'm I just want one wish. Why do I have to go do this chase? No one wishes for anything good anymore. There's no Christmas spirit. People just care about themselves instead of this amazing time to share the Christmas spirit with all those around you. Well, that's why you have to bring the spirit. If you don't bring the Christmas spirit, who will? You have to cheer up. Okay, fine. I guess you're right. I 
I'm always right. You should know that by now. Jeez, she is always right. Meanwhile, I'm gonna wish for a mansion. I was gonna wish for a mansion too, but I also want new clothes. Ooh, and a purple Lamborghini. That would be so fancy, girly. We would totally be like the bougiest girls ever. But we can only make one wish. Hmm. Right. Maybe we'll wish for a successful business that'll make us lots of money. But then we would have to work, which would definitely suck a lot. Yeah, you're not wrong. I totally agree. Oh, wait. I have a genius idea, girly. Huh? What is it? A way for both of us to get everything that we want. You're killing me with the suspense. Just tell me already. Whichever one of us wins, we just wish for a mansion filled with everything we need, like fancy wardrobes and fancy cars, a house fit for two queens. Oh, I so agree with you. That is genius. Now we just have to win, which might actually be like the hard part. Nothing's getting in our way, girly. Win at all costs mindset. Five minutes later. Before you even start, we're in such a good mood. Nothing is going to bother us. Yeah, we don't care what you bullies have to say. <laughs> you hear that, Ayla? The dweebs don't care what we have to say. That sounds like a dweeb response. Well, we're going to say it anyways. It's Christmas, and we're going Christmas shopping, so leave us alone. <laughs> you losers like Christmas? That is so lame. No, it's lame for you because you won't be competing in the Christmas event this year. Yeah, well, maybe I will just to beat you losers and get to wish for whatever I want. You can't do that if you don't believe in Christmas. I'll just lie. <gasps> you can't do that. Watch me. <laughs> What's wrong? Ashley hates Christmas, but I love Christmas, but I can't admit that to her or else she'll be so mad. Ayla! Sorry, coming, Ashley! Meanwhile... Is there a reason you summoned me here? Yes, it is very important. What is it? It's about my son. Go on. I want him to win the chase this year. But that's against the rules. I can't do that. Yes, yes you can, and you will. No, not a chance. You're gonna want to sit down for this. Why? Because if I recall correctly, I remember the fact that I own you and all your toy workshops, and I don't mind taking them away from you. How could you do such a thing? You're leaving me no choice. Near the end of the night, I'll call you and tell you where to go. Fine. Later that same evening. Yes, it does seem that way, darling. And now I don't know what to do. Follow your heart and nothing else. Everything will fall into place, I promise. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura, and I'm joined by Santa and our mayor, Ronald Stump. Hey, kids, it's Santa here. I can't wait for you to find me. I'm so excited for this year's chase. I have a feeling it's going to be a very special one. To all the folks of Brookhaven, I wish you good luck today. The chase starts in three, two, one, go. Moments later. We're A few moments later. Hurry up, Katie! Hurry up! Ooh. Sky! Hey, little girl, are you okay? I'm sorry about my friend. She's acting a little too intense right now. I love my mommy! What are you doing, Katie? We don't have time for this. You need to tone it down a bit, girly. You are way too intense. It's not good. I just think you don't want to win. So you need to step it up if we want to win or else I am leaving you behind. No, you are acting way out of character right now and it is not okay. You just push someone over to the ground. That is not okay. Ugh, whatever. Clearly you don't want to win. So I'm definitely not sharing the prize with you. Cool. I don't care. I'd rather lose than be mean to everyone. It's Christmas. Win at all costs mindset. Moments later. <laughs> Five minutes later. Here you go. This is your house. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not going to be able to find Santa now. Well, there's always next year. But I need to find him this year. Why can't it wait? Because my mom is always sad and super tired and she cries a lot because she works so much and still barely has any money. It goes to bed crying almost every single night. I want to wish for my mom to be happy all the time. Meanwhile... Where is Santa? I know some of you know, and if you don't tell me, you are all going to be a big, big trouble. I will find where you all live. Now tell me where Santa is. I'm not going to hurt him. Uh, what are you doing here, George? Come to tell me where Santa is. No, you're spending 
spending the next few hours in jail for acting crazy. It's not okay, and you need a few hours to calm down and chill. Not happening, George! I'm sorry, but it is. But the Santa Chase, please, no, don't do this to me, George! There's always next year. A few moments later. Huh? What's wrong, Holly? I can't find Santa. Why would you want to find Santa? You literally have all the money in the world, and you can get whatever the heck you want. It's not about that. Huh? What do you mean? I just want to find him so I can wish for my parents to get back together and have family dinners like we used to and not fight all the time. I would give everything up to have those days again. Meanwhile, I can't believe no one has found me yet. It usually never takes this long and I'm not even trying. This is craziness. Ho, ho, ho. Why do you hate Christmas so much? Don't worry about it, Ayla. It's literally none of your business and if you ever ask again, you're gonna be in big, big trouble. I'm really sorry, Ashley. Please forgive me. I'll think about it. I cannot wait for Christmas. Woohoo! It's gonna be so much fun. Mom! What do you want, Ashley? I just want to tell you I cannot wait for Christmas. I don't care. Just shut up and stop talking about Christmas. It is not okay. I don't want to hear it anymore. Enough is enough. What's wrong, Mommy? I thought you loved Christmas. Not anymore. Why not? Because your stupid father left us on Christmas Day and he's never coming back. What? Daddy's never coming home? Yeah, now stop annoying me. <laughs> I'm gonna start bullying people and feel better about myself. I don't even care anymore. You can't be looking for Santa. You're not a kid. Well, technically I am, or I was, I should say. Yeah, maybe like years ago. More like four years ago. That doesn't even make any sense. What are you even wishing for? I want to wish for my youth back because I was a kid four years ago and I won and my wish was to be an adult. But then after a few months, I realized that was the worst idea of my life and I've been looking for Santa every year. I just want to change things back to normal now. That doesn't sound too fun. I thought being an adult was great. It's not. Trust me. Meanwhile, Daddy, where's Santa Claus? I thought you said I was gonna win. You are. I'm talking to him right now. Just be patient. Okay, Daddy. Just remember, you have to catch him when you see him. Okay, I can't wait to win and get my wish. What's your wish gonna be? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. A few moments later. There he is, son. Go get him. Go. I'm coming for you, Santa. I'm coming. But if I have anything to say about it, I did it. Woohoo! I am so glad you beat that little kid. Oh, why, Santa? It doesn't matter. Anyways, what is your wish? I wish that every little kid has an amazing Christmas and for all of their wishes to come true. That is, if they're not selfish wishes. Spread the love and cheer for Christmas because it just seems lost. That is the greatest wish I have ever had the honor of carrying out. You are an amazing person with an amazing Christmas spirit, Mackenzie. And you ignited the Christmas spirit back into me. Ho, ho, ho. A few moments later. I'm sorry for getting mad at you. I should have been more understanding. You're my best friend. No, girly. It's my fault. I should have been so intense. That was not okay of me. I'm the only one that should be saying sorry. I'm really sorry. I hope that you can forgive me. Of course I can, girly. You're my best friend. And besides, I learned the true meaning of Christmas. Which is? True meaning of Christmas is love and family and happiness. Okay, so I made this amount last month, and given that I pay my bills on time and don't run into any unexpected issues, that means whatever money I have left over will go to Zoe's Christmas gift. Wait, no, 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 that's all? That cannot be right. I've been pulling double shifts at the grocery store almost every single day. I've got to have more money than that in my holiday budget. I mean, I seriously have the best daughter ever. I just want to give her the Christmas that she deserves. Oh, why is it that the older Zoe gets, the more expensive Christmas is? I can't 12-year-olds just play with toys anymore. Seriously, I could get her a lot of cool stuffed animals if she wanted them. But electronics and Robux are so expensive. Hey, Mom! Ah! Oh, what are you doing down here, young lady? Uh, I was gonna get a glass of lemonade. That's all. Is that allowed? Yes, getting a drink is allowed, but coming into the kitchen when I'm working on your Christmas wish list is not. So scram, little missy. Ooh, you're working on my Christmas list? I am so excited. Christmas is gonna be here before we even know it. You understand my list, right? I put one asterisk next to what I kind of want and two next to the stuff I super duper badly want. I think this 
system makes sense. Yep, I got the Christmas list that you slid under my door. And the one you texted me, and the one you emailed to me, and emailed to my work computer also, and the one you also tweeted to me. What? I was just being thorough. What? You really think I would have forgotten if you didn't contact me on every cellular device known to mankind? No, but I also couldn't take that risk. This is Christmas, Mom. No, I know, honey. But you know how we've had the talk about how times are tight right now? Yeah, I know. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm mature enough for adult conversations, Mom. Okay, so we are having an adult conversation. Things are a little rough right now. I don't want you to worry, but just know that I can't go totally overboard this year. I get it, Mom. I know if you could, you'd get me the world, and that's what matters. Aw, what did I do to deserve the best kid ever? I know. I'm pretty awesome, aren't I? The next day... Hey, Mackenzie, are you just getting in? Yeah, my shift starts in five, and I'm working a double today. I was hoping I could ask you a question before, though. Sure, what's up? Well, you know how Christmas is coming up, and I was wondering if I could up some extra shifts a little bit closer to Christmas so that I could afford to get my daughter some more Christmas presents. She's been so good this year, and I really cannot afford anything right now. Oh, Mackenzie, you know you're one of the hardest workers, and I'd love to help you. So you're going to? I really wish I could, but I was actually going to come talk to you about something after your shift. Oh, yeah, what's up? Is it about the company holiday party? I know stringing all that garland can be a real pain. No, Mackenzie, it's not about the holiday party. You know, telling you might in fact be more difficult than I thought. Okay, well then instead of keeping me dangling in suspense, why don't you just tell me? Here I am thinking I won the lottery or something. No, you didn't win the lottery. Although, strangely enough, that would fix this whole thing. I cannot give you more hours this holiday. Oh, you can't? Hang on, Mackenzie, that's not the worst part. Oh, brother, this is never good. Not only can I not give you more hours, I'm afraid we're gonna have to need to cut your hours back from what they are now, meaning we don't even need you to work a double today. What? I'm really sorry, but we hired so much new help for the holidays, and we need to give all the part-timers some hours. So you're giving them my hours? How am I supposed to afford Christmas presents for my daughter if you're cutting my hours? I'm really sorry, but my hands are tied. Yeah, my hands are gonna be tied too, with a plaque that says world's worst mom. Later that same evening. Hello there. Yes, is this Starbucks? Yes, I'm calling to see if you guys are hiring by any chance. Um, no. As a matter of fact, I don't know how to make a latte or the secret ingredient in a peppermint mocha, but I am a quick and eager learner. Well, why not? I buy enough of your drinks. And cake pops for my daughter. You think that would mean something? Hi, Mom! Oh, shoot. I've got to call you back, but don't give the position to anyone else. Hey, Mom, what's up? Nothing, nothing at all. Why would something be up? Um, because you were just on the phone and I hung it up as soon as I walked into the room? Oh, <laughs> that. Th that was nothing. I was just talking to Sky. No big deal. I'll just call her back later. Oh, I didn't realize you and Aunt Sky had secret conversations. What's your best friends? You're always best friends, Zoe. So, anyways, how was school? Did you learn anything new? Eh, no, not really, but it was an interesting day. Oh, yeah? How so? Okay, so all these kids at school had this book from Amazon that has all the hottest toys of the year in it. And one of them let me go through it. Oh. Yeah, it was like really neat, Mom. I mean, a lot of the toys were just okay, but there is this one cauldron toy called a Magic Mixie. And get this, it uses real magic to create your very own toy made from the air. Wow, cool. That does sound neat. I know. Everyone is asking their parents for Magic Mixies, and I know we talked about it and you can't go overboard this year, and that's totally fine. But if you could maybe, like, think about possibly getting me one, it could, like, count as my Christmas and my birthday present for two years. I mean, where else are you going to get a deal like that? Oh, you're right, sweetie. That is a heck of a deal. Now, if you don't mind me asking the boring mom question, uh, how much is a Magic Mixie? I mean, like, if it can make a toy out of thin air, it can't be cheap, right? Well, the thing is, it's, like, uh, $80. $80? When you keep that in mind, it would cover like four different presents. It really is a steal. And it can make this like the best Christmas ever. All right, yeah, I promise I'll think about it. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, Sky, I don't know what to do. Well, first things first, Curly, is you need to stop rambling and tell me what's going on. I don't need to hear about whatever it is on Zoe's TikTok. By the way, do you know how many followers that girl has? No, but Sky, it's not going up on TikTok because Zoe doesn't know. Okay, so I went into work today and asked for more hours, but then my boss told me that she's cutting my hours. And then, in the same afternoon, my child, who is literally the best child ever, asked for this one Christmas present that she really, really wants. And obviously, I can't buy her this super high-tech cauldron because I have no money. And Sky, if I don't figure things out soon, we could lose the house. Geez, Carly, maybe if you got the cauldron, you could find a recipe for a 
potion that could make you rich. I'm being serious. I don't know what to do. I just don't want to ruin her Christmas by not getting her what she wants. Kenzie, come on. Zoe is a great kid, and she knows there's more to Christmas than just presents. I know. I just really want to get her this darn magic mixie. The next day. How can I help you today? Would you like us to all the bar or at the booth? Oh, neither, actually. I'm not here to eat. Well, if you're not here to eat, oh, uh, what are you doing at the diner? Sorry, I should have explained that a little better, shouldn't have I? I was just wondering if you guys are hiring for the holidays. I... And before you say anything, just know I wouldn't be asking you unless I was totally desperate. My last job cut my hours, and I have a daughter who I can't afford to get any Christmas presents for. And she wants this magic mixie, and I can't really get her that without any magic money. So please, if you believe in the Christmas spirit at all, please, please help a poor girl out. I'll do anything, clean the bathrooms or the tables, and literally cover any shift that you need. Whoa, calm down, lady. Look, we're not hiring right now, but you seem really desperate, and it is the holidays. How about you take all the extra shifts waitressing? You can start right away. Really? Oh, thank you, thank you. You will not regret this. I better not, because starting now, I'm your boss. A few moments later. Wow, this service really sucks. Hey, that's not very... Oh, boy, do you move fast. I literally just told you I got hired here. Yeah, well, free burgers kind of have that effect on me, girly. Is that really all you're here for? Free food? Free food and to see you. I'm really proud of you that you found a job so quick. Yeah, I'm living the dream. Wait, why do you still sound upset? I thought this is what you wanted. Well, in theory, yeah, but think about it. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm not at home with my daughter. No, I'm flipping burgers, and yeah, I'm making money. That's cool and all, but I have no time with her, so what's the point? I think I have something that will cheer you up. Meet me out back by my car. Oh, God, Sky, no surprises, please. It's not a surprise, but it might be an answer to your problems. Okay, let me just finish this order, and then I'll sneak around back to meet you. Meanwhile, I'm almost afraid to ask. Please don't tell me you have a body in there. Why would I have a body in there? Who would that help? No, girly, look. Sky, uh, what is that? It's a magic mixie, just like what you said Zoe wanted. Oh my gosh, Sky, you're the best friend in the whole world. Where did you get it? Where did you find it? How did you find it? It was no big deal, really. I know you're looking for one, so I bought it from some guy in the alleyway. I paid a lot for it, but I know the look on Zoe's face will be worth it. A guy in the alleyway? Sky, that is so dangerous. You're lucky you weren't killed, and you were also probably ripped off. You don't even know if it's a real magic mixie. He could have just sold you a rock. Of course, I'm sure, girly. Here, I'll show you. Uh-oh. What is that? Because to me, it looks like a stuffed animal that you can get at the grocery store. Uh, I was scammed. I can't believe it. You were right. The guy never had a magic mixie. Mackenzie, is this why I hired you? To socialize outside while burning? Burgers are in there on the grill burning? No, 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 Mr. Waiterman, sir. I am so sorry. I was just coming back now. Yeah, well, how about I save you a step and you don't come back? You're fired. You can continue with your conversation now. Don't let a little thing like work get in your way. Oh, it's Christmas Eve and I have no job and no money and no presents for Zoe. The next morning. Mom! present under the tree and it's a magic mixie! I knew you'd come through for me. I love you so much. I love you too, honey. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, why don't you go and set it up? I'm gonna go right now. Ah, this is the best Christmas ever! Morning, girly! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Look, that was really sneaky of you to buy Zoe a magic mixie and then sneak it under our tree. You're really a great aunt, Sky. Thank you. I mean, thanks for the compliment, but that wasn't me. I've been home all day. I have my Christmas present for Zoe over here. Figured I'd still give her the teddy bear. Guy, yeah, you can drop the act. Zoe literally just found the magic mixie under the tree. Well, it wasn't me. Well, it wasn't me either. <laughs> Don't say it. It had to have been Santa. Meanwhile. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. I cannot wait to give Zoe the best Christmas this year. She's finally old enough to be excited about it and get her list ready for Santa. This is going to be the best year ever. Yep. And we've been doing so well with our savings. We're going to be able to get Zoe everything that she wants. She's been wanting all the new Squishmallows, Lego sets, video games. Oh, and of course, Robux. How are you going to afford to do all of that on your own? What do you mean on my own? We're a team, honey. That's why we've been working so hard to give our daughter the best Christmas ever. And we are finally a Achieving that. You are so funny on my own. Nice try, mister. But you work full time at a big job. Well, uh, now might not be the best time to tell you that I'm leaving you. You're 
What? You heard me. I can't do this anymore. It is way too much. I'm not ready to be a provider and have responsibilities. Well, it's a little late for that, considering we have a daughter. Well, it's not too late for me. I'm leaving and starting my own life. Well, what are Zoe and I supposed to do? I can't afford to do this without you. Well, you're gonna have to because I am out of here. Later that same evening. Uh, Mommy, where are all the pretty lights? They went bye-bye, Zoe. But I know, but sometimes, honey, the things we like just get taken away from us. Even things we love, apparently. That's just life. Does that mean that there's no Christmas, Mommy? No. No, honey. It doesn't mean that. But how are we going to have Christmas with no lights and no decorations and no daddy? You know what, kiddo? We will figure it out. Just you and me. Because that's what mommies do. They figure things out and make the best of it for their kids. So I don't want you to worry your pretty little self over one thing. I promise, we are gonna have the best Christmas ever. Really? We are? We sure are. Why would I ever lie to you? I know it may just be the two of us, but we're gonna do it like you've never seen before. Don't worry, this Christmas is gonna be one you will never forget. Thanks, Mommy. You're the best. Oh, stop it. Actually, tell me more. Tell me more. I can't wait to get everything I wanted for Christmas. Oh, God. How am I gonna figure this one out? The next day... You promised her what? I know, I know. What was I thinking? No, no, I just want to hear the words again so I can then decide if you have partial or full insanity. Okay, okay, don't yell at me. All I did was promise her that this is going to be the best Christmas she's ever seen, filled with the best stuff, and that I'm going to get her everything that she wants, and that it's going to be the most magical Christmas ever. Girly, I am all for Christmas miracles here, but how on earth are you going to pull this off? Especially now that the Grinch just left. I mean, really, what were you thinking? But her dad left and I felt guilty, so I just want to give her everything. I mean, that's a thing as a parent, right? Wanting to give your kid the best everything? Yeah, but isn't it another thing as a parent not setting your kid up for disappointment when you know it's something you can't do? Stop. I don't need you to keep proving how wrong I am. No, actually, it's kind of fun, so I'm going to continue to do so. Well, it's not fun from where I'm sitting, but I'm sure there's a way that I can do this. What? No, 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 girly. You need to sit her down and explain to her that mommy had too much on chocolate and it gave her a sugar rush and there was a lot of crazy talk. Sky, I can't explain it, but I just can't do that to her. She's already been through so much. I'll figure it out, okay? How are you gonna figure that out, though? You can't pull money from thin air. I mean, that would be really cool, but still, I don't see it working. Okay, I can't pull out money from thin air, but I can get a second job or a third job to be able to afford a Christmas for Zoe. Oh, yeah? And where is Zoe gonna be when you're working all of these jobs? Isn't our preschool on break? Well, maybe she can be with her awesome, amazing, beautiful Aunt Sky? No, 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 no. Flattery is not gonna work on me, girly. You know that I am not a good babysitter. Wait, did you just say pretty? Yeah, and I meant it. You are so pretty. Beautiful even. Uh, you know I can never resist a compliment. Fine, I'll watch the Rugrats so you can make some more money for Christmas. Thank you, Sky. Thank you. Thank you. I promise you will not regret this. Oh, I already do, but promise me one thing, girly. Don't get yourself in a hole trying to do this for Zoe. She'll love you no matter what. Thanks, but she'll totally love me more with even more presents. Several days later. Zoe, come on down, kiddo. We gotta go. Tricking me? There's no school today. No, I'm not tricking you. Then why do we have to go? Are you sure you're not bringing me to school? No, honey, I promise we're not going to school. Mommy got a new job, so you're gonna go to Aunt Skye's house for a little bit while I work. And then for a little while longer while I start my second job. Why do you have to work so much? I'm not even gonna see you. I know, it sucks. But if you want the perfect Christmas, I gotta go to work to pay for it. What about Daddy? Didn't he go to work? Well, yeah, but he's not here anymore. Don't worry. Mommy, you don't have to go to work. Santa brings all the presents, so you don't need to pay for anything. Yeah, well, unfortunately, with everything that you asked for, it goes a little bit outside of Santa's budget. Also, we can't ask Santa to help us pay for rent. So unless we have a helper elf around the house, I gotta go to work. Can we still go sledding and ice skating and drink hot chocolate together in our pajamas? Heck yeah! I'm only gonna be at work for a little bit. Not long at all. Three days later. Come Cranberry Bliss Bar! Okay, okay, I understand you all want your orders, but I'm the only one here. So I am going physically as fast as I can. We want our drinks! We want our drinks! Man, this Christmas rush
squash is no joke. I didn't know I was joining the Hunger Games by working at this job. And is this a coincidence that everyone else who was supposed to work today called out sick? Because I think not. Um, sorry for the delay. Have a very Merry Christmas. <sighs> hey, that is not showing the holiday spirit. And, uh, you want a Cranberry Bliss Bar, right? Okay, let me run to the back to get one of those. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Hey, Sky, I really can't talk right now. It is not a good time. I'm like 30 seconds away from getting red cups thrown at me. Well, girly, you might not be able to talk, but there is someone who wants to talk to you, your child. Oh, Sky, I know. I am so sorry. I know I was supposed to get Zoe like an hour ago, but I'm totally swamped at work because nobody showed up, so I have to cover all of their shifts. But I need to leave soon to make it to my second job at Rockstar. Girly, what are you doing to yourself? Zoe is waiting for you. She said you promised to take her sledding, and she's waiting at the front door to go all all bundled in our snow stuff. Uh, I am literally the worst mom ever. I don't know how I thought I was going to be able to work two jobs and spend time with her. I know you're just doing this to give Zoe a great Christmas. You finish things up on your end, girly, and I got it from here. Thanks, guy. You're the best. Uh, what was I supposed to get back here again? Cranberry Bliss Bar! Right, right. Okay, there's no need to yell. I'm getting it. Later that night. <sighs> okay, I'm here. Uh, hello? Please come in. Sorry, sorry, but at a certain point in a friendship, does anyone even knock anymore? If they're polite and they don't want to walk in on their best friend changing or singing out loud for everyone to hear, then yeah, yeah, they do. Well, I kind of think we're past that. Okay, w w where's my kid? She's sleeping in my bed. The girl is so tuckered out, but forget about Zoe. Where have you been? I thought you were going to be here literally hours ago. Ugh, me too. But then I was making time and a half at my shift at Starbrook, so I stayed, and it was complete chaos at rockstar but i was making commission wait back up to the part where you said she's tuckered out what is she tuckered out from oh gosh sky what did you let my child do nothing relax i took zoe sledding she had a great time but by the last run she was so tired she could hardly bring the sled back oh i thought i was gonna take her sledding oh well, yeah i did too but girly you're gone all the time i know you want to give her the perfect christmas but by giving her what in reality is the most materialistic christmas you're missing time with her. Like, yeah, sure, she had fun today, but Kenzie, she would have had way more fun with her mom. I know, but you don't understand. I'm a single mom now, Sky. She doesn't have her dad, and she at least deserves the best Christmas. And whatever I can give her. Did you take nothing from the Grinch? What happened to the whole maybe Christmas isn't found in a story part of it when he remembered what if Christmas perhaps means a little more? Why are you quoting the Grinch to me? Because clearly Dr. Seuss was onto something. What are you saying that I should do? Give up on giving her the perfect Christmas? Girlie, ask anyone. There is no such thing as the perfect Christmas. Everyone's look so different. I know you want to make everything perfect for Zoe since her dad isn't here, but maybe the only thing she needs right now is you. Every year she's going to get older and older and eventually she'll be too cool to hang out with her old mom. No offense. Wow, a lot taken. But for right now, the best thing you can give her is Christmas with the two of you being together. Meanwhile... <sighs> And she is so wiped out. She must have had so much fun today. I can't believe I missed it. Heck, I'm missing everything. Maybe Sky's right. The next morning. Mommy, how did I get here last night? When I went to sleep, I was at Aunt Sky's. Good morning, beautiful. Yeah, I know. I picked you up and brought you home. Where were you yesterday? I thought we were going to do something fun. I know. I'm sorry. I had to work. But the good news is that there's no more work. We are going to spend the rest of your school break doing whatever you want. Yay! Yay! This is the best Christmas ever! I want to go cut down a Christmas tree! You what? Okay, well, I guess I did say whatever you want. Moments later. Uh, mommy, this doesn't look familiar. I know, honey. That's because there is a very good chance that we might be lost. What? How do we get lost? Well, I've never cut down a tree before for Christmas, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Whoa, there's so many trees around. Well, I know that, but it's kind against the law to just cut down any random tree. But why? You know what, Zoe? You're right. We should just cut down the biggest and bestest tree and hope we don't get arrested. Several days later. Whoa, Santa came! He sure did. Merry Christmas, Zoe. Merry Christmas, Mommy. Wait, where are all the presents? I only see this one. Yeah, honey, well, uh, that's the thing. Remember how I was supposed to have two jobs, but then I quit them so I could spend more time with you? Yeah. 
Well, because I quit them, I didn't have enough money to buy you everything that you wanted. I'm so sorry, honey. I got you what I could. It's okay, Mommy. All I wanted for Christmas was to spend time with you. Aw, really? How did I get the best kid ever? You just got lucky, I guess. <laughs> wow, thanks for dinner, Mom. It really is great tonight. Eh, I like last night better. Um, rude. I don't see you offering to cook. Oh, come on, Mackenzie. You can't tell me that you don't prefer chicken nuggets. I mean, come on. Okay, okay, ladies, calm down. Now that I have everyone gathered here, I was hoping that perhaps we could go over our routine for Christmas Day. Uh. Um, excuse me. I don't remember asking for your opinions. Come on, Dad. You don't want to have to stick to a routine on the best night of the year. I try. You know, you can't get me to go against your mother. I do love your routines, dear. I don't think they're crazy at all. Nice sucking up, Dad. Hey, you wait until you're married. As I was saying, we'll open our one present on Christmas Eve. They will be our pajamas. Wow, big surprise. Then, after we open the pajamas, we'll all put them on, watch one Christmas movie, read Twas the Night Before Christmas, and go to bed after leaving cookies and milk out for Santa. Then, we will wake up at exactly 7 o'clock and go downstairs to see what Santa brought as a family. And no running down early, Eve. We will open stockings first, then after, move on to bigger presents. And after the last present is open, we will start on Christmas breakfast. I'm sorry, Mom, but that seems a bit scheduled. I mean, it's Christmas. Isn't there something nice about not having a routine? It's just doing what you want and enjoying the day. When something is planned out to like every second, it feels more like school. Are you saying you don't want to partake in our family Christmas routine? We have been doing this ever since Eve was born. Hey, don't blame me for the start of the family craziness. I know, but we're all getting older. Maybe it's time you think our routine should evolve a little bit. Evolve? What does that mean? Spend our entire Christmas glued to our phones and watching TikTok videos? Wow, that sounds fun to me. Well, it is not happening. Our Christmas did evolve. When you two were born, you got to be included in it. There, that's evolving. Now, before breakfast, we will stand in a single file line in all of our matching PJs for a picture in front of the fire. How does that sound? <laughs> Listen, I don't hear anyone complaining about the presents they're going to get to open on Christmas Day. So I don't want to hear any complaints about our family routine. Is that clear? Yup, crystal clear, honey. Clear as day, Mom. Later that same evening. I don't know about a Christmas routine, but my favorite nighttime routine is FaceTiming my bestie before bed. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, excuse me, have you ever heard of knocking? I was just about to FaceTime Sky. Sorry, sis, but I was hoping we could talk. It's about Christmas. Let me guess, you're not too keen on the whole family Christmas routine either? Well, I know it hurt mom's feelings, but no. I mean, it was fun when we were kids with the matching pajamas and the waking up at the crack of dawn on Christmas Day, but I don't know. It's just starting to feel a little... Forced? I get it. It's like the magic is gone. Last Christmas, I kept on imagining what Skye and her family were doing the whole time. Yeah, me too. My best friend asked me if I wanted to go to the Nutcracker with them this Christmas, then spend the night. The Nutcracker! I've never cracked nuts, Kenzie! Yeah, I'm not too sure that's what it's about, but I feel you. I haven't talked to Skye about what she's doing this year. But whatever it is, I'm sure it's a heck of a lot more fun than lining up in PJs in front of our fireplace. What do you think Mom would do if we made other plans for Christmas? Um, you mean besides stringing us from the Christmas tree by our feet and then smacking us like pinatas? And let's be honest, disappointment is the worst thing a parent can be in you. Yeah, I guess so. It's just, don't we deserve to have a good Christmas too? We've been like super good this year. Don't you think it's time we enjoy it without the forced family fun routine? I mean, forced family fun is kind of mom's thing. How would we even go about it though? I have no idea how she would react. Well, she can't freak out of both of us, so why don't we do it together? It'll be like ripping a band-aid off. We just have to tell her together that we want to switch it up this year. She'll understand, I think. I hope so, because if we spend Christmas grounded in our rooms, it's on you. The next day. Hey, girly, what's on the 23rd day of Christmas? Um, what exactly are you talking about? The song, the turtle doves and the partridge in a pear tree. What happens on the 23rd day? Because today is December 23rd. Um, Sky, I think there's only 12 days, hence the song being called the 12 days of Christmas. Oh! 
Oh yeah, that makes a lot more sense in the version that I was singing. Thanks, girly. So, uh, anyways, what are you doing for Christmas this year? Ugh, don't even get me started. My mom has our annual family Christmas routine, and she is not budging an inch on it. And not in a fun way, like when I want something and she won't budge. Yeah, no offense, but that doesn't sound like fun at all. Wow, thanks, Sky. I'm serious, girly. Christmas is supposed to be fun. Routines that become forced traditions are kind of known to take the fun out of it. I mean, isn't it your holiday too? I mean, you're not in school. Don't you deserve to do what you want? Well, what are you doing? Well, my brother is going to be home from school in Bloxburg, so we're all going to go ice skating Christmas Eve and then bake cookies and stay up late to watch the Polar Express. And get up whenever you want the next morning and open presents. It'll be a chill day. Ugh, that sounds so much more fun than the snore fest that I'm having. Your parents really know how to have fun, Sky. Well, yeah, that's the point. If you're just trying to rub my nose in the fact that your parents are super cool and mine aren't, then you're doing a good job. No, girly, ugh, how are you so clueless sometimes? I was asking you if you wanted to come with us for Christmas. I don't want to hang around my parents and my brother if my mom said you're more than welcome to come ice skating with us and spend the night. She might even let us make cinnamon buns in the morning. Oh, cinnamon buns? I love those. Uh, I don't know, though. I've never been away from my parents for Christmas, and this would for sure break up our routine. Well, didn't you say you wanted to get out of it anyway? Yeah, I guess so. You know what? This is it. I'll tell my mom that I don't want to take part in the family Christmas routine this year. And if she doesn't like it, then oh well. I mean, she still has Christmas Eve. I deserve to have a good Christmas. And that means I'm going to go with you guys. Awesome. We're going to have the best Christmas ever. We sure are. Now, all I have to do is find the courage to tell my mom. I mean, I'm sure she won't take it that bad. The next day. Mom, you know I love our family Christmas routine, but I think it's time we change it up. So I'm going to spend Christmas with Sky this year. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Hey, Candy. Sorry, no time to talk. I need to go talk to Mom right away. Hold on. Where are you rushing to? Um, nothing. I just wanted to show her a picture I made her at school for being like the best mom ever. Oh, you are the worst liar, Spill. Okay. I'm going to go see the Nutcracker with my best friend on Christmas. Her mom got us tickets and everything. And don't be mad. I'm sure Mom and Dad can still have the best Christmas routine with you uh, somehow. Eve, no, no, no. You can't go. Sure I can. Turns out it's a ballet and not cracking nuts. Who knew? I thought it was like Mr. Peanut spin-off. No, it's not about the nuts. You can't go because I agreed to go ice skating with Sky's family on Christmas. Ew, you totally double-crossed me by doing the same thing I did. Yeah, well, you can't leave Mom and Dad for Christmas because I'm gonna be gone too. Can't expect them to have the Christmas routine without either of us. Uh, technically, I made my plans first, so you should stay. I have front row seats for the ballet, and we can't both be gone. Well, I mean, at least Mom still has Dad. That's something, right? Yeah, she'll have Dad, and besides, is having us there so great when we technically don't even want to be there? These are the questions you have to ask yourself, Kenzie. Right. So if you think about it, we're technically doing Mom a favor. Oh, totally. I mean, what's going to happen when you go off to college someday? I mean, if you get in, of course. Hey, we were on the same page, but that was mean. I'm your sister. What do you expect? Okay, so you agree that we're going to go in there and tell Mom together that for the first time in our whole lives, we're going to be breaking the family Christmas routine. Moments later. Hey, uh, Mom, can we talk? Sure, I am just getting the tree all ready for Christmas. Oh, it's going to be great, girls. Maybe we can move this year's picture to in front of the tree. Oh, I can't wait for our family routine this year. It's going to be the best one yet. Yeah, about that. Mom, I know how important our Christmas family routines are to you, but Sky invited me to go ice skating with her on Christmas Eve and then go sleep over at her house, and I think I'm going to do it. Oh, well, we'll certainly miss you, Mackenzie. It won't be the same here without you, but we'll still have fun, won't we? kiddo. We'll bake the cookies and do the Christmas caroling just like we always do. Well, the thing is, Mom, I was kind of invited someplace too for Christmas Eve. I'm gonna go see the Nutcracker. Oh, so you're both gonna be gone for Christmas? What about our family Christmas routine? Well, you still have Dad. Yeah, you'll still have Dad. And besides, we're growing up. You'd have to expect we want to be with our friends. No, you're right. Go have a good Christmas, and I guess I'll spend it here opening Christmas pajamas with your father. Aw, thanks, Mom. You're really being a great sport. This is like the best Christmas gift you could have ever given us. Yeah, but with that being said, I still expect real presents. The next day... Will you settle down, girly? I know it's Christmas Eve and you're excited, but you're rocking the couch here. I know. I just can't believe that it's finally here. Not only did I get on my lame family Christmas routine, but I also get to spend Christmas Eve with my bestie. And I just got the coolest ice skates. Okay, change of plans, ladies. No ice skating tonight. What? 
Why? It started snowing and it's really coming down out there. There's no way the rink will be open. And besides, it's too dangerous to drive anywhere now. Oh, man, there goes our fun night. No, no, no. Christmas is still going to be great. We'll just carry on with our normal Christmas traditions. Your normal Christmas traditions? Yeah, our family Christmas routine. Except it'll be a little bit different this year, girly, because you're here. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. Meanwhile. Oh, this is such a sweet family picture. Hey, Mackenzie, would you mind taking a family photo of us? Mom, Mackenzie is part of our family tonight. That's kind of rude. No, it's okay. In fact, I should probably be getting home. Really? But I thought you were going to stay the night. I was, but I think I should be home with my family. Merry Christmas, girly. Moments later. Mackenzie, you're here. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Am I in time to open our pajamas? Mackenzie, what are you doing here? I mean, I'm super happy you're here, but it's awful out there. I know, and I know I complained a lot about our family routine, but once I was somewhere else, all I wanted to do was be home with my family. Really? Yeah, I couldn't stop thinking about you doing our traditions all alone. Besides, I have the rest of my life to spend Christmas with my friends. Right now, I just want to do our family Christmas routine. Oh, that sounds great to me. Come on, get warm. Ooh, it is nippy out there. Eve, you're back. I didn't think you'd be here till after Christmas. What happened? Did you know the costumes in the Nutcracker are super creepy? And also, I was feeling a little homesick for our family Christmas routine. Well, I'm sorry your plans didn't work out as you thought, but I am so happy to have you guys home for Christmas. All right, everyone, who's ready to open their Christmas Eve pajamas? <laughs> you look like a little twerp. Hey, that's not very nice. Does it look like I care? <laughs> oh, no, is the little baby going to start crying? <laughs> the little baby is going to start crying. Jeez, what a dweeb. Do you think that was a wise choice, Master Holly? I do what I want, and I don't care. Hey, you! Who, me? Oopsies. Yes, you. Are you serious right now? Tell your child to stop being a little brat and a bully. How could you just be okay with letting her bully another kid in front of you? Do you teach your kid anything? Ugh, I hate parents like you. First of all, I'm not a child, so check yourself before you wreck yourself, boomer. And it was just a little bit of fun. Relax. Everything is gonna be okay. Whatever happened to sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Sounds like you did a terrible job teaching your kid. Are you gonna let your daughter speak with an adult like this? She's my butler. And besides, I'm so rich, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you are such a rotten kid. And I'm glad it is so close to Christmas. And you're definitely gonna be on the naughty list and will get any presents. Just a big bag of coal. You're so funny because Santa loves rich people. Ta-da! Meanwhile... Hmm, so who's on this year's naughty list in Brookhaven? Surprisingly, there's none yet. This year is going to be a joyous Christmas then. Well, there definitely is one person that we're going to need to add to the list. I just heard a word from Brookhaven. Looks like it's not going to be a perfect year. No! Who? Holly the Rich Brat. She has been so naughty, she needs to be put on the naughty list. And she should have zero chance of redeeming herself. Are you sure she should have zero chance of redemption? Yes, are you sure, Mrs. Claus? Shouldn't we give her, like, one last chance to redeem herself? I'll think about it, but for now, put her on there and don't take her off until I say so. Agreed, darling. Several days later. Charles, have you packed everything? Yes, Mr. Holly, uh, everything has been packed. Can you double check the list, Charles? I triple checked, Master Holly. Why don't you go and quadruple check for me, you peasant? Yes, sir, right away, Master. Daddy, it's almost time to leave. Holly, what did I say about knocking? I'm sorry, you don't have to get so mad at me. You know that hurts my feelings when you do. Not mad, you just scared me is all. What's up, is everything okay? Yeah, I guess, a little sad now, but that's okay. Oh, sweetie, I didn't mean to upset to you. How about when we go to the tropical islands, you can pick whatever room you want. Deal! Five minutes later. You must be excited for your trip. Of course we are, Charles. We're leaving the snow for the warm, warm sun. You always make stupid statements. You know, one day you're gonna embarrass us. Please forgive my actions. You must be excited to have the holidays off, Charles. What do you think you'll do? Well, all my family, they live in Bloxburg, so... Ew, no wonder why you are the way that you are. That place sucks. Yes, it does suck, Master Holly, but I do think I'll drive you there once I drop you both off at the airport. Two hours later. Ugh, what is taking so long? I'm not sure. They're probably just making sure everything's okay. Ugh. Five hours later. Ugh, what is going on? What the? We haven't even left yet. 
What? We have some troubling news, which is we can't fly because there's a snowstorm that just started. Plus, there are many technical difficulties we were working on with the plane. Ah! Will we be able to make it to the tropical islands for Christmas? The plane won't be ready until after the new year. Three hours later. I can't believe we're stranded at the darn airport. We're rich. Ugh, call Charles. I can't. I had to call a taxi because he's in Bloxburg. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? We have to call a taxi because Charles isn't here? Meanwhile. Oh, this is going to be the greatest two weeks ever. I can't wait. I love life. A hundred missed calls and a bunch of missed messages? We're coming back here because the plane can't fly. I gotta get out of here. A few moments later. Looks like we have to walk. We have to walk? But it's snowing. We're gonna freeze. We'll be fine. Don't worry. It's not that cold. Moments later. This is the worst Christmas ever. I can barely hear you. My ears are frozen. Speak louder. Ugh, never mind. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's karma. Or maybe it was some of Santa's doing. Wink, wink. Meanwhile. Daddy, it's so cold. We we need help. I, I can't feel my face. <gasps> A few moments later. Ew. You're lucky to be alive. Seriously, though, where am I? The hospital? Yeah, duh, I know that, but I've never heard of this room before. It's so old and ugly. It's because it's the free hospital for people with no money. Excuse me? With no money? Then why am I here? Do you even know who I am? Not really. You were found outside with no ID, so we assumed you were poor and had no money. Get me out of here at once. This place is horrid. An ambulance can take you home, but your dad has to stay here for a few days days because he's too sick and cold to leave. I don't care. Just get me out of here before anyone sees. The ambulance will also cost a thousand dollars. Put it on his card when he wakes up. Moments later. Ugh, I'm finally home. What a day. Charles! Charles, don't make me tell you twice. I'm serious. Why is he so useless? Ugh. Right, he went home to Bloxburg. Ugh, who's gonna be my servant? Several days later. Why isn't anyone here to make me food? I seriously haven't had like a proper meal in like three days. Ice cream and junk food get old real quick. You're finally home! Now force Charles to come back! Oh my god, it stinks like a dying animal in here. I think I'm gonna puke. Hey, it's not that bad. Five minutes later. Oh, that's better. Anyways, this house looks like a disaster right now, and I am not happy about it. Well, what do you expect? I was left alone. It's not my fault. For you not to make a mess? Sorry. Sorry isn't enough. I want the entire house cleaned right now, and by the end of the day or else you are grounded but but we have servants for that who are all on holiday so get your butt up and get to work no if you don't do it right now i am canceling your phone plan and taking away all of your beauty supplies oh fine but just know i hate you moments later oopsies oh dad you burnt our home down well it's not my fault i don't know how to clean a stove and you're the one who made me clean things this is the worst Christmas ever. I was supposed to be in the tropical islands right now. But now I'm stuck in Brookhaven with no house. Nothing. And I'm so cold. Well, at least it can't get much worse than this. A few moments later. Definitely did get worse. Oh my god. Hi, Holly. I'm not sure if you know who I am, but I know who you are. Why is this happening to me? Welcome to our place. It's not much, but it's home. It's amazing. What are you talking about? Do you want to play board games? I'm good. Father, can I speak with you for a moment? What's up, sweetie? In private. What's up? Why on earth are we here? Because we have nowhere else to go. I mean, you did burn our house down. There's plenty of places to go that don't inhabit that weird nerd and her strange mom. No, there isn't. Everything else is booked and they were kind enough to let us stay. So stop being a brat. The next day. Hey, uh, Holly, you want to play in the snow? No, thank you. But it'll be so much fun. No, it won't. Yeah, you girls should go outside and play for a bit. Give the grown-ups some alone time. We get tired too, you know. I totally agree. Go outside and play like the little kids of our generation did. With no phones and just an imagination. Yeah, no thanks. Definitely still bringing my phone. Meanwhile. I've made my conclusion. What do you mean? We're going to give Holly a chance to redeem herself since she suffered so much already this Christmas holiday. If she's nice to Christina, then she can have her gifts if not then no gifts a few moments later come on holly let's play in the snow 
Snowman makes snowmen. I'll pass. But it'll be so much fun. It'll be so festive. Do you ever just like shut up? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, uh, I take it back. Don't be upset. Really? <laughs> no, and you better not tell your mom about this or your high school life as you know it will be dead. Moments later. Thank you so much for dinner, Mr. Holly's dad. This is amazing. Agreed. I hope for there to be many more of these. I actually have a special announcement that I would like to make. When have you ever made a special announcement? Just let me speak. Holly, this is exciting news. Fine, go for it. Christina's mom and I have grown very fond of each other and we are in love and we're getting married. I'm so excited for us to be one big happy family. Yay! No, no, not happening. How could you do this to me, Dad? You are the worst human being ever. A few moments later. Why? She is so poor and ugly. Get over yourself, Holly. We're in love and there's nothing you can do to stop that. Just give her a chance. You'll see how amazing she is. Yeah, I'd rather not. No, thank you. Fine, suit yourself. We're gonna have a fun family night. You can come join us if you want. No, thank you. I'd rather have no Christmas gifts than do that. Several days later. You know she's just using you for your money, Dad. She doesn't actually love you. Yes, I do. Money means nothing to me. That's because you don't have any. Why is there so much streaming right now? I love your father, and you're gonna have to get over that. And now I've gotta go and make sure that my daughter is okay. You talk to Holly, please. This behavior has to stop right now. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. Ugh, whatever. The only thing I'm excited for is my presents tomorrow. That's it. The next day. It's Christmas! Woohoo! All right, where are all my presents? Um, hello? Where's my presents? I have some bad news, Holly. Uh, Santa didn't bring you anything this year because you were on the naughty list, so you only received coal. What? You can have some of my presents, sister. Shut up! This is the worst Christmas ever! More like Rich Brat has the worst Christmas ever! <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen up, people! We are T-minus two days away from Christmas, and we have to go over my Christmas list. Well, Holly, are you sure you even made the nice list this year? That's up to Santa to decide if you've been naughty or nice. Oh, please, I am not asking asking Santa for any gifts. The old man doesn't have near as much money as you and mom. No, no, no. I want my gifts from you guys. Hold on. How do you know Santa's net worth? Seriously, have you seen the house he lives in up in the North Pole? Super unimpressive. I have way higher standards than a red coat and black boots. Okay, then what is on your Christmas list? Well, we can start with the basics and I'll read it to you. I've also printed you off each a copy and laminated it for your convenience. Okay. <laughs> to start, there is the price private jet I want. Now I know what you're thinking. I totally should have gotten it for my birthday, but we're past that now. Now, I was gonna set a $100 limit for Christmas gifts, but I'm sure you can both agree that a private jet is totally worth breaking that for. Now, we're not talking any private jet here. I want one with white leather seats and a gold interior. Anything else? Yes, I am glad you asked. Now, to go with my jet, of course, I'm gonna need my own landing strip. That shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, and the smaller items, which include the Chanel bag I want, You'll see the exact color and style in the index of my Christmas list. Oh, and don't forget the most important rule. No knockoffs. Okay, private jet and Chanel bag. We got it. Excuse me, I am nowhere near done. Next on my list is diamond earrings. No less than three quarts. I will be checking the size and clarity upon opening. Are we clear? I don't know, Holly. I mean, it seems like you've really forgotten about the true meaning of Christmas. What are you talking about? The gifts are the true meaning of Christmas. Why else would we have a holiday where we get gifts if that's not the main point? <laughs> you make no sense, Dad. I'm not so sure about that. I want to make sure you know that Christmas isn't just about the present. <laughs> oh my god, Dad, you kill me. It's Christmas, not April Fool's. No, really, no time for jokes when you should be out shopping. Holly, have you ever heard of peace on earth and goodwill towards mankind? <laughs> Now mom is on it too, I can't. Now if you two will excuse me, I have a lot of shopping to do. Because I can't trust the two of you to not screw up on my gifts. Moments later. Um, excuse me, ding ding, I've been standing here for five minutes, is anyone gonna help me? Ugh, this is outrageous. I am so, so sorry miss, we are short staffed since it's so close to Christmas and it's just been crazy busy here. I 
I'm sorry. Does it look like I care? Listen, hire more people if you have a problem tending to your customers, lady. Oh, I see. Well, how can I help you? I'm looking for a Chanel bag. My parents are too dumb to get the exact one I want, so I thought I should just get it myself and give it to them to wrap for me. Oh, um... Is that gonna be a problem? Well, we uh, don't carry Chanel here. <gasps> Excuse me? Yeah, we don't have any of those high-end brands here in Brookhaven. I'd be more than happy to help you pick out another bag, though. Another bag? Me? Like some kind of cheap knockoff? Well, it's uh, not really a cheap knockoff. We have plenty of other bags that I'm sure will fit your needs. I'm sorry, but who are you to think that you know me? And tell me what my needs are. From the way you dress, it's clear you don't know the first thing about fashion. I'm frankly confused as to why you're even working here. I'm really sorry that we don't have the purse you want, but that is no way to talk to someone, especially around the holidays. And now you're correcting me? Well, you were being rude. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, lady. I'll show you rude. Didn't your mother teach you that the customer is always right? You're right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Why did I even choose to work here? Miss, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I just had a really bad experience with a customer. I've never had anyone be so mean to me before all over a Chanel bag. A Chanel bag? Yeah, I just had a really mean brat come into the store and demand a Chanel bag. When I told her we didn't carry them, she just started screaming at me. It's the holidays. What kind of a person would do that? Yeah, what kind of a person exactly? You think people would be nicer around Christmas time. You'd think so. Here, let me give you some money for your troubles. Oh, don't be silly. You don't have to. It's not your fault. Uh, I know, but for some reason, I feel oddly responsible. Meanwhile... Hello, young lady. Would you like to make a needy child's day today by sparing some change? Uh, why would I do that? Oh, well, uh, usually people don't ask, but to give clothes and food to children who can't afford it. <laughs> You must be kidding me. Why would I help anybody else? Because it's Christmas time and it's the season of giving. Not for me, it's not. Now, are you gonna get out of my way or am I gonna have to call security? I uh, don't think this sidewalk has security, ma'am. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm just trying to help kids out who need it. Well, you should be sorry. First, I don't get my Chanel bag and now you're bothering me? Ugh, get out of my way. Later that night. Holly, it's Christmas Eve. Do you think it's too much to ask that we all sit together as a family? Um, yes. Ollie, did you hear what your mother just said? I don't care what she just said. I'm busy over here, so why do you mind? What are you doing anyways? I'm trying to figure out which are my presents. There doesn't seem to be a lot under here. And it's very concerning. I've never seen this tree look so bare. Shoot, I lost track. I need to recount. Okay, one, two, three. Holly, come on. You know there aren't any presents until Santa brings them. Oh, give me a break. Holly. Holly what? I've been canceling all the presents under the tree and there are only like 10. 10. That is not okay for Christmas. I don't know who you plan on giving only 10 presents to, but certainly not me because that is just not enough. Remember what I told you earlier? If it's not the answer to where the rest of my presents are, then I don't care. Well, I'm gonna say it anyways. I told you that Christmas is more than just presents. It is about family and friends and loving one another for what's on the inside. Oh, that seriously grosses me out. The point is, Holly, we could all have an equally good Christmas with no presents at all. As long as it's just the three of us. You're right, honey. As long as we have our family. Ugh, you two seriously sicken me. Okay, I'm gonna go look for the rest of my presents in the garage. The next morning. Oh, yay, it's Christmas! Time to get up, time to get up! My days of driving everywhere are finally over. Now, where is my private jet? Huh, I wonder why my private jet isn't outside. I told them I wanted it on Christmas, and I was very clear. Oh, well, I bet the rest of my presents are downstairs. Oh, uh, what the heck is going on here? Merry Christmas, Holly! Forget Merry Christmas. Where are my presents? My jet, my Chanel bag, my diamond earrings. They're nowhere to be seen. These are the same stinking presents from last night. And they're not the right size. Well, 
Well, Holly, I told you that Christmas is more than just about gifts. I am not following. Could you clarify that for me? Gladly. It seems like you've forgotten what the true meaning of Christmas is and only cared about the gifts. See, what's confusing me is the true meaning of Christmas is the gifts. No, it's not. And we've been trying to tell you that, but for some reason, you haven't wanted to listen. You were way too caught up in gifts to the point where you made a saleswoman cry and you didn't care about anyone else around you. Yeah, so? So to rectify that, we got you no presents this year. No presents? No, honey, not this year. Just like how they celebrated the first Christmas, there will be no presents. I don't care what old people did like a million years ago. That's not helping your case, Holly. But no gifts? Is that even legal? I swear that is some form of child abuse. We checked with Mayor Ronald Stump. It's legal. Be glad he didn't get a lump of coal. You know, in some cultures, they send in a Christmas demon opposite of Santa to punish naughty kids. I don't care! Ah! Okay, okay, enough of this. There are no presents this Christmas, and that is that. I don't understand, though. I mean, like, what are these ten presents under the Christmas tree, then? I mean, it's not a lot, but they're still for me, right? Well, that is the other surprise. So far, the surprises haven't been that good. Well, those presents under the tree are for the kids at the adoption center who didn't get any presents for Christmas. We're gonna spend the day there giving out gifts. What? First, I didn't get any presents and now I have to spend my Christmas with needy kids? Why does it end? We're actually doing this for you. I don't see how that could be possible. Well, hopefully after seeing some kids who are less fortunate, you'll appreciate what you have. Even if it's not a brand new private jet. Oh, if I had a brand new private jet, I'd still be out of here right now. A few moments later. Holly, there's still a lot of kids here that haven't gotten a present. Ugh, well, Santa doesn't make it to every house. It's just a fact. Oh, no, Santa didn't come for me? Not this year, kid. <laughs> Holly, I am so sorry, sweetie. Here you go. That girl is the Grinch. <laughs> girl over here! Ugh, you little brat. You should be grateful that you get to stand near me. Probably gonna be the biggest honor of your life. I don't think so. You're mean and your heart three sizes too small. Ew, how dare you question my anatomy? Now get lost before I take back all these presents. I knew it! You really are the Grinch just without the green fur. Ugh, I don't know how else to help her. I thought bringing her to see needy children would help her appreciate everything she has. I'm starting to think nothing will help. Just give her time. Christmas isn't over yet. I'm bored. Can we go home now? Does every child have a present yet? Ugh, I don't care. Then no, we're not done. Ugh. Moments later. Bye. Ugh, can't you see that I'm busy? Oh, I was just wondering if I can have this present. I don't care. Now get lost. Can you help me open it? Look, kid, you just pull apart the paper. It's not that hard. Oh. Let me see that. Hey, those are supposed to be for me. Whoa, thank you so much. But, uh, whoa. I've always wanted diamond earrings, but ever since my parents died, I never thought I'd actually get them. Your parents died? Yeah, last year. That's why I have to live here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, here, let's go see if there's any other presents we can give you. I wanted a Chanel bag, and I think they would match those earrings great. Here, let's go see if we can find it. Really? You give me your presents? It's Christmas. Wow, well, thanks. You are so nice. See, she finally realized that Christmas is so much more than just gifts. Hey, Mackenzie, are you doing okay? You look a little down. I guess so. Come on, what's bothering you? I just can't believe I have to spend another Christmas in here. I just want to be adopted. Hey, you spending Christmas in here with me really that bad? That's not what I mean, Mrs. Adoption Lady, ma'am. But I'm the last kid here. Why doesn't anyone want to adopt me? That's not how it works, Mackenzie. These things take time. Excuse me, my husband and I would like to do a good deed this holiday season and bring a needy child into our very large, luxurious house. This child will be given the best of everything, guaranteed. So, do you have any children available for adoption? Well, you two came in at the perfect time. We actually do have one child left ready to be adopted. And she happens to be standing right next to me. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Mackenzie has been at the adoption center ever since she was an itty bitty baby. Oh my God, she's adorable. I'll take her, I'll take her, honey. Can we have her? Please, 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 please. Yeah, of course, anything for you. Yay, I'm gonna have a mommy and a daddy. 
Hi there, Mackenzie. Yeah, we're gonna take you on a sled ride and get you a 25 foot tree to put in your brand new room. And we're gonna have a grand Christmas dinner. Just wait until you see it all. Whoa, a 25 foot tree? That's a billion jillion times bigger than me. I've never seen a real Christmas tree before. Can we take her home yet? Yeah, I wanna go on a sleigh ride. Wow, I uh, can't believe this day is here. I never thought Mackenzie would get adopted for Christmas. Let me get started with the paperwork and she'll be all yours. Why don't you two go have a seat on the bench over there? Gladly. Oh, honey, this is so exciting. Hello? I was wondering if there's any children here for us to adopt. Oh, my goodness, are you such a little doll? She's precious. Is she available for adoption? Yeah, uh, this is Mackenzie. Oh, you're not. adopting Mackenzie. So go look somewhere else. Oh, and by the way, you should be ashamed of your outfit. I wouldn't wear that to go take out the trash. Never mind adopt a child. Yeah, with the way you're dressed, how do you guys think you're gonna be able to afford Mackenzie? I'm sorry, but you can't just judge someone simply based on how they're dressed. It's what's on the inside that counts. Um, yes I can. And adoption lady, can you please tell these rather wholesome and simple people that Mackenzie is already accounted for? Well, technically, since you guys haven't signed the paperwork yet, Mackenzie is still available for adoption. Yes! But that is unfair. We can provide better for her and buy her cooler things. Wait just a minute. I can settle this right here, right now. We will buy Mackenzie from you. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's not really how this adoption thing works. It's not like buying a puppy. Oh, I can be a puppy. Woof! Alrighty then, Mackenzie, how would you like a million dollar check? Ooh! Excuse me, that's not really playing fair. You don't need to play fair when you're rich. Yeah, and how would I cash a check anyways? I'm just a kid. Here is what we're gonna do. Even though I'll say I've never had this situation come up before in all of my years here, let alone the week before Christmas, this is quite a pickle. Ooh, I love pickles! Here is what we're gonna do. Since both of you want Mackenzie, but only one of you can have her, you each get to spend a day with her leading up to Christmas. Whoever Mackenzie chooses to be her parents will be it. All right, that sounds fair. Ugh, usually having money means we don't have to do things fair. Well, how does that sound, Mackenzie? Yay, I can have two families for Christmas. What more can a girl want? Since you guys were here first, you guys get to have the day with Mackenzie first. Is this your house or are we at a museum? Welcome home, Mackenzie. The entire adoption center could fit in here twice. I'm glad you like it. Why don't you head upstairs and check out the rest of the house? Oh my god, oh my god, look at this white couch. It looks like a cloud. Hey, hey, Mackenzie, keep off the couch. It's not for sitting. Well, what else would it be for? Well, it's very expensive, so that couch is just for looking. Oh, okay, uh, whoa, a fireplace. Can we make s'mores? Don't go near the fireplace, Mackenzie. That's also just for looking. I don't get it. You guys have so many cool things. Why can't you touch them? Well, the thing is, when you have nice, expensive things, you want to just admire them from a distance. You understand? Well, not really, but I trust you. Moments later. There you go, Mackenzie. Now you're all set in your new Christmas dress. That's great, but I can't breathe in this thing. It's crushing my ribs and making me itchy. Most expensive things do that. You'll be fine. But it's uncomfy. Can I take it off? <gasps> Mackenzie, do you have any idea how expensive that is? Now, come on. The chef has prepared dinner. Meanwhile. Dinner! Yay! What did you prepare for us this evening, chef? This evening, I made lobster with the drawn butter. How does that sound, Mackenzie? Yuck, I don't like lobster. And anyways, I'm allergic to shellfish. Can I maybe have some pizza or a burger instead? A uh, happy meal food? I think not. Mackenzie, this lobster is very expensive. And our chef went through a lot to prepare it for us. So you are going to eat it. But no bucks. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll just have hives later then. Suck it up. You'll be fine. Well, I mean, if she doesn't want it. Don't you talk back to me. I wasn't talking back. I was just giving my opinion. You know how things work around here. You don't get an opinion. Uh, are you guys fighting? Mackenzie, don't interrupt. Go find like a toy to play with. I don't have any. Ask the maid to bring you one then. The grown-ups are talking. Later that night. Oh, well, that was a tiring day. Time to get some sleep. Okay, Mackenzie, come on. It's time to go to the Nutcracker. What? But it's late and dark outside. I know, but we only get so much time with you, so we need to fit in as much as we can. I'm really 
tired though, so maybe I think I should just have a nap first. No time for naps. The Nutcracker is a Christmas classic and you will sit through it and like it. Not to mention the tickets were a fortune. What is the Nutcracker about? Well, you'll have four hours of the show to figure that out. Four hours? But when the heck am I gonna sleep? I don't wanna hear complaining, Mackenzie. It is important for our image that we go as a family and are seen having a good time. So no whining. <laughs> Are you serious? He did not just fall asleep. Wake up, you big idiot! Many hours later. Oh, uh, that was the longest show of my life. I'm exhausted. Wasn't it beautiful, Mackenzie? I really didn't understand it, and I was the only kid there. I hope you realize how lucky you are that you go to see such a fancy show. I'm really, really sleepy. Do you think I can go to bed now? Not yet. We have a charity auction we have to go to before we drop you back off. Adoption center. Do I have to go? Of course you do. Having a child with us will greatly improve our image and make us look like a poster for a perfect family. Oh man, does that mean I have to go too? Of course, you big dummy. Approximately 10 hours later. Nobody talk to me. I'm going to bed. Wake me up in 75 million hours. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mackenzie, what are you doing? You have another family to spend the day with. And it's a big day, Christmas Eve. Come on, get up. I'm not going. I can't do this again. I haven't gotten any sleep. My skin is itchy from the dress and I have hives. Well, how do you know what it's going to be like unless you give it a try? Maybe these people will be really nice. Hey there, Mackenzie. Are you ready to go spend Christmas Eve at our house? We have the best day planned to hopefully welcome you into our family. Well, what do you say, Mackenzie? Uh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> Sweethearts. Hey, can I uh, sit on the couch? Yeah, of course. Why else would we have a couch if you couldn't sit on it? That's what I was thinking. Anything you see here, you are free to use. This is your house, too. Wow, thanks. Now, I'm really sorry, Mackenzie, but we can't afford any of the extravagant things the other family was talking about, like Christmas shopping or taking you to see Santa. But that doesn't mean we can't have an amazing Christmas. Yeah, we thought we could stay in by the fire, bake cookies, watch a Christmas movie. Then maybe we could all make each other Christmas presents, because let's face it, homemade presents are way better than store-bought ones. That sounds awesome. So you're not upset? Why would I be upset? All I want is a family to do things with. I don't care if we just stay home in our PJs all day. That's all I ever wanted. I don't care about the money. I learned that money doesn't always make you happier. And sometimes cheap cotton dresses are way comfier than fancy ones. I actually got you a new cotton dress if you want to put it on. Yay! Later that night. Wow, I love this movie. Thanks for watching it with me. Are you kidding? The Grinch is a Christmas classic. I can't believe you've never seen it. Well, I've never had parents to watch it with before. I'm gonna start on our Christmas dinner. I'm sorry we can't afford anything fancier. But how does pizza and burger sound to you? Really? This is the best Christmas ever! A few moments later. Wow, you really are the best cook. I haven't eaten anything in days. You poor thing. Well, Feel free to have as much as you want. And after dinner, we have a real fun activity plan. Oh no, it's not the Nutcracker, is it? Oh no, even if we had it, we wouldn't spend the money to sit in the theater for four hours. Plus, that's not kid-friendly. I love you guys. Since we couldn't afford to go see Santa at the mall, we thought it would be fun if we all wrote him letters. Oh my god, I love that idea. I am so in. I wish you could spend the night and we didn't have to bring you back to the adoption center so soon. And I wish we could afford to to do more fun things with you. I'm sorry we can't offer more. Are you guys kidding me? This has been the best day ever. I don't care about things. I care about having parents. Aw, Mackenzie, that is so sweet. Now finish up dinner and we'll put a batch of fresh cookies in the oven. Later that same evening. Uh, of course you guys are late. Do you know how rude it is to take up people's time? Actually, they're three minutes early, so don't have a cow. Anyways, now that we're all here and since it's Christmas Eve, I think it is the perfect time for Mackenzie to decide who her new family is going to be. Now, don't feel like you have to rush, Mackenzie. Take your time making your decision. Oh, I don't need time. I already made my decision. Okay, then let me just get my checkbook out. Why are you doing that? Well, in case Mackenzie needs a little bit more convincing. No, it's okay. I want you guys to be my new mom and dad. <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna be a mom! And I'm gonna be a dad! Um, excuse me, little lady, do you have any idea how much money we have? Yeah, I know. And you chose these people? Hey, 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 there will be no name calling on Christmas. 
Christmas Eve. Yeah, I know how much money you have, but it doesn't matter. Money isn't everything, family is. <sighs> I wish I could just go downstairs and open all those presents. Ugh, waiting for Christmas is the worst. Mother! Mom! Mom? Hello? I know you can hear me. What, Mackenzie? You don't love me? I've got no time for silly games right now, Mackenzie. What's up? Okay, fine. I'll get straight to the point. Christmas is coming up soon, and I was wondering if I could possibly, like, you know... Open up a present early? Yeah, that's it! Yeah, not happening, Mackenzie. Just one, though. It won't hurt anybody, and it won't even be noticeable, please. No, not happening. But, but it's just one. No, not just one. You have to wait until Christmas Day, and that is final. My mom won't let me open up one Christmas present early. It's so annoying. Same with my mom. They're all in cahoots. This is ridiculous. I agree. We have to do something about it and do something quick. It's not worth it, though. I honestly might just rip pieces off of some of the presents so I can see what they are without her knowing. Ooh, that's a great idea, girly. Well, I am a certified genius. You got that right. The next morning. Moments later. Someone stole all the Christmas presents in the house. Ma'am, please stop prank calling here. This is like the hundredth time, and I'm getting super annoyed and tired of it. Can you please stop? For the last time, I am not prank calling you, and this is my first time calling you. Don't make me come down there, George. I am not playing around. Are you threatening me? That's against the law to threaten a police officer. It's against the law to threaten anyone. I am done with this conversation, ma'am. I have plenty of other calls to answer. Bye. Well, looks like he's more useless than I thought. Meanwhile... I can't believe all the presents are gone. This is gonna be the worst Christmas ever. Someone stole them, and now they have all the presents, not me. Everyone's gonna have presents except me this year. Hello? Girly! Yes? What's wrong, girly? My presents, they're all gone. Somebody stole them all. Oh my god, same. Someone stole all my presents, too. Oh, really? Yes, I kind of feel better now knowing that I'm not the only one. Same, actually. Yeah, I thought everyone was going to be opening presents but me, but I guess now I have you, too. Oh, this is going to be the worst Christmas ever. I was just saying that. Five minutes later. Come on, girly. We have to stop crying. We need to be strong. But everyone is going to be opening presents this year except us. It's kind of impossible to be strong. You're right. <laughs> Mackenzie, come downstairs. You have to see this. Guy, yeah, my mom's coming. I'll phone you back soon. Sounds good, girly. Coming, mom. in Brookhaven. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura. Tragedy has struck Brookhaven. And also, so close to Christmas. What an absolute disaster. Someone stole all the Christmas presents in town. It was the Grinch. He did it. He stole them all. He's back and more powerful than ever. We'll be back right after this brief break. Sorry, folks. Okay, we're off air. What on earth were you thinking? The news is scripted, not scripted, you buffoon. But I'm probably right. I don't care. When we go back on air, your job is to tell the public that you think a real person did this, not the, 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 the Grinch. Oh, but then that means I actually have to do real work. So do we all. It's called a job for a reason. Ugh, you imbecile. Moments later. Hello there, folks. Sorry for the break, but glad to be back. We actually have a new development on the case. Yeah, we just got word that the thief is an actor actual person. We aren't sure who yet, but sorry for the bad joke earlier, everyone. It's okay, George. I don't think anyone 
anyone took offense to it. And the worst part is that even if anyone wanted to go buy new presents, they can't because everything is literally sold out in Brookhaven right now. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off and wish everyone well in these tragic circumstances. Meanwhile, we need to figure this out ASAP. I don't care or else we don't get any presents this year. The Grinch, it was him. I should have known. Did you not just watch the second half of what they were saying? Yeah, but they were obviously lying. Jeez, Mackenzie, I thought you were smarter than that. Well, you know what, girly? I think you're wrong. Meanwhile, how's it going, pal? Roof, roof. I know, I'm hungry too, little guy. We should be getting some food soon. Roof. I know, it's very sad. A few moments later. I am not in the right shape for this, girly. And it's snowing like crazy. Me neither. You realize if you're wrong about this, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm gonna be so mad. Kill your role, Kenzie. I am definitely right. I'd rather not freeze to death on this mountain. Don't worry. Me neither. One eternity later. I'm so cold that I don't even feel cold anymore. Me too, girly. I have no energy. I want my presents back, though. Come on, girly. You gotta get your booty up. If we don't keep moving, then we're gonna die in the snow. You're so right. Moments later. We did it! Look, there he is! Wait for me! Who are you, girls? We want our Christmas presents back, and I don't care. We're not leaving here until you do. I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah, what my best friend just said. I didn't take them. I promise it wasn't me. I swear I would never do something that bad. That's horrible. Looks like it wasn't him. Darn it. I don't believe him. Woof, woof. It's okay, Max. They won't hurt you. You dog. Thank you. Now, tell us where the presents are. I swear it wasn't me. I'll even promise to help you find whoever did it. Please, please don't hurt me or my dog. Okay, fine. I believe you for now. Oh, thank goodness. Only five houses left to go, and I'm almost finished. <laughs> I would have never thought ruining Christmas would have been this satisfying. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to start doing this every year. Actually, stop forgetting to flush the toilet. It smells horrible in here, and we have guests coming over. Ah, shut up, Mom! Several days later. What brings you two in? I hope you're staying out of trouble. <gasps> the fact you would suggest us being bad is hurtful, George. We're the most upholding citizens of Brookhaven, hands down. Enough with this chit-chat. We have business that needs to be taken care of. Do you have any clues about the missing presents incident that occurred a few days ago? I'm not. I can't talk about an ongoing investigation with regular non-police people. Oh, man. Are you serious? Yes. Have you done anything other than eat donuts today? No. Wait. I mean, yes. Yes, I have. Uh, we are never going to get our presents back, and it's all because of you. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. We are three days away from Christmas and not a single clue as to who stole the presents. Are the police officers even working, or has George just been hanging out and eating donuts? I think he hasn't solved the case yet because he's been too busy eating his favorite donuts. He is so a terrible police officer. Anyways, this is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, I heard you were talking to Mackenzie and Sky. No, I wasn't. They just came up here and started asking me questions. I didn't say anything to them, I promise. You better smarten up. I am not playing with you anymore. I'm serious. And if you don't, I am taking your little dog away forever. Roof, 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 roof. Please, no, I beg you, please. Shut that Max, stop it! Please, don't take my dog. He's my only friend I have. Then you better keep your mouth zipped about what we did. Meanwhile... I think it's time we give up, girly. There's no hope for us now. None! Might as well just call it a day and wait until next Christmas presents. I know it sucks, but not giving up is gonna cause us even more pain. Are you kidding me, girly? The whole town is depending on us because of that lazy donut lover is too lazy to figure out this case. And I'm not going a year without Christmas presents. It's just not happening. So buckle up because we are not leaving this room until we come up with a plan. One eternity later. Oh, did you figure something out yet? I mean, we could always go around spying on suspects to see if they stole any of the presents. That's it! The camera system! Under the laundry place to spy on people! Maybe we can rewind the footage! I never thought of that! It's a great idea! Let's do it! A few moments later. I hope this works! Darn it! Everything automatically deletes itself after a certain amount of time has passed, and we're past that time. Ugh, we're so close yet so far. Wait a second! There's one video left, but it's gonna be deleted in one minute! Hurry! I tried my fastest and play! Hurry up! You're taking too long! I'm trying my best! Ugh, let's get out of here. No, we were so close. They were just about to take off their masks. Ugh, we weren't. 
were so close. Uh, interesting, though. Why? It's interesting because there was two of them, and one looks super fashionable to be a robber. And we also haven't seen Ashley at all lately, and she does, in fact, hate Christmas. Moments later. George! Ashley did it. It was all her. We have proof. No, you don't. What do you mean? How would you know? Because we already caught the Grinch, and he confessed. Where are all the toys, then? He burned them all. Can we go talk to him? No, you're not allowed. Ugh, why are you the actual worst? A few moments later. I can't believe we're breaking into the police station. Shh, Kenzie, just because it's nighttime and we're all alone doesn't mean you can talk so loud. All right, I'm sorry. All right, I think he's this way. So, you lied to us. How could you? Yeah, you really hurt our feelings. I am not cool with that. You're gonna pay for that one, but there is a way out of this. There is a second person with you, and they must still have all the presents. So, tell us who it is, and we'll forgive you. It was Ashley. She forced me to do it, and then take the fall for it. I had no choice. She forced me. Moments later. We know you did it. Yeah, so hand over the presents. <laughs> yeah, right. In your dreams. French, snag her and take her in. You got it. Several days later. Thanks to Mackenzie and Sky, they solved the case got everyone's gifts back. They saved Christmas, and now they're heroes. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for Christmas. Oh my gosh, me too. I can't believe it's so soon. Christmas is so lit. It's the most lit holiday. <laughs> yeah, totally, because of all the lights lit. <laughs> wow, I just explained your own joke to you. Way to go, Sky. Ooh, I wonder what presents we'll get. I want all of my presents to be pink. I love pink. Me too. Meanwhile, breaking news here in Brookhaven. The town is all aglow with plans for festivities for the upcoming holidays. It's gonna be a ho 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 good time. There will be a tree lighting ceremony in the center of the town tomorrow. And please come visit the town center store where the local merchants will have their best stuff out for gifts and presents for your loved ones. And don't forget to cozy up for a break at our local Starbucks Coffee with their new seasonal peppermint latte. Just the thing to take that chill out of your bones, right, Rob? <laughs> we were talking about the weather right before the broadcast started. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. I can't wait to decorate the tree. Me too, sweetie. We're going to have such a nice holiday this year. I can't wait. Me neither. Meanwhile. Ah, stupid TV always talking about stupid Christmas. Why does everybody love this holiday? It's the worst. Ah, I'm out of groceries. Now I have to go into town and see all those cheerful people. I wish I could see their smiles into frowns. I hate happy people. They are absolutely the worst. In fact, I wish I didn't have to eat so I could never see anyone ever again. But then, who would feed you, Max? Yeah, I guess I have no choice but to venture out there. Ah, wish me good luck. Meanwhile. Mackenzie, there's something that's making me sad, and I don't know what to do about it. Well, what is it? Tell me about it. That's what besties are for. Someone you can tell your problems to, and then they'll listen, and then they'll help you out. Thanks, girly. You really are the best. Well, so what's been happening is that my mom seems so tired all the time because my dad has been out of town so much with work lately. And she's always so busy and seems like run down, like she really needs a nap all the time. Oh, no, that's terrible. I slack and stuff, but like nothing feels like it's ever enough. And I really just don't know what to do about it because it's not like my dad can just quit his job or whatever. Like we need the money from that, you know? That's a doozy. I really don't know what can be done about that. Like really, I'm raking my brain right now and nothing at all is coming up. I know, right? I can't think of a solution. Like how to help her be like less stressed and stuff. Well, now that I think of it, maybe there's one thing you could do. Like what? What is it? Tell me, tell me. Well, I was wondering who could help out with this sort of thing. And since it's Christmas, if anyone could help out with this kind of thing, it'd be Santa Claus. True. So maybe you write him a letter explaining everything about the situation and see if he can help. Yes, that's it. You are so smart, Kenzie. And like you said, if anybody can help fix this, it's Santa. Come on, let's go get some paper and an envelope and everything. I gotta start writing this letter. Yes, I bet Santa gets letters like this all the time. He'll know what to do as soon as he reads the letter. Come help! Yeah, right! Excuse me? What did you just say? Santa 
Santa Claus isn't gonna help you from your measly letter. You'd have to go talk to him in person, and good luck with that. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Maybe a letter won't work. Yeah, but what if we could, and I know this is a little far-fetched, so follow me here, but what if we could find a way to talk to Santa in person? You mean, like, go visit him in the North Pole? Yes, exactly! Oh my gosh, it's crazy enough that it just might work to the airport! A few moments later... Oh! choose the North Pole. I don't know. Maybe there's like an Australian Santa Claus on the South Pole because their winter is during our summer. I don't know. Either way, we would like two tickets to the North Pole, please. All right. Well, that will cost $10,000 and it's going to take several weeks. Uh, do you take payment in the form of gum? No, we do not. Well, either way, I only have one pack of gum, so it's probably not enough to get us there. Can we pay you in cuteness? I'm afraid that's not how this works. Got it. Santa Claus. Oh, well, good luck with that. Thanks, at this rate, we're gonna need all the luck we can get. I need a vacation. Okay, so we can't go to where Santa Claus is, but what if we let him come to us? What do you mean? Well, he's obviously gonna come here to Brookhaven to distribute all the presents. So, we just have to find him when he gets here. I never realized I was in the presence of brilliance, ma'am. I stand corrected. Meanwhile, hello, good people of Brookhaven. It is my extreme pleasure to be here on this festive occasion to light our beautiful Christmas tree. Ah, so unsightly. Why would you ever take an evergreen out of its natural habitat to what? Parade around in front of a bunch of deadbeat families? Disgusting habits. Moments later. That's it. I've had it with all these cheerful festivities. It's oppressive. I can't let all this Christmas stuff happen anymore. It's a blight of my spirit. I need to put a stop to it, but how? <laughs> I'm glad you're on board, Max. Now let's see. I need to find something integral to the holiday. Something so central that without it, Christmas just couldn't happen. What is Christmas really about? <laughs> Yes, Max! The presents, of course! All everybody really cares about is the gifts that they get from other people! But how could I take away all of the gifts? <laughs> Yes, that's it! I'll dress up as Santa Claus. That way I can easily steal everyone's presents and nobody will have a Merry Christmas. Wow, Max, for a dog, you've really got some bright ideas. Or maybe I've just been underestimating dogs my whole life, which is entirely possible. <laughs> Wow, people really trust you to enter their houses when you have this silly costume on. I can't believe how none of them noticed that I was taking gifts and not adding any. <laughs> Only four more houses to go and all of Brookhaven will be presentless for the holiday. No gifts for anyone. <laughs> I parked them in the parking lot, and yeah, that's me, I'm Santa. First name Santa, last name Claus. No middle name, I don't think, do I? No, I don't have one, right? Hello, Mr. Santa Claus man, sir. Oh, er, uh, well, hello there, little girl. Ho, 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 what would you like for Christmas this year? Perhaps you can lead me to where the presents are in your house under the tree. Wait, Santa, first, would you mind having a little conversation? There's something that I really need to talk to you about. Err, uh, I guess. Santa, my mother has been super busy and stressed out because my dad has to work extra hard and he's been out of town on business a lot lately. So Santa, I really wanted to ask you for Christmas this year if you could figure out something for my mother to like help her with all the stuff she constantly has to do. Like something that will make her life easier and less stressful because I love her and I hate seeing her like this. Oh, wow, we're a kid. Well, uh, I'll definitely see what I can do. I am Santa, after all. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, come in. We have milk, egg, cookies for you in the kitchen. Later that night. You know, Max, even though my plan succeeded, I really don't feel as good as I thought I would. I wonder if that little girl Sky is still worried about her mother. 
Okay, buddy, you're right. It's time for bed. The next day. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Wait a minute, it's Christmas. Yay, 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 Christmas. Mackenzie, honey, we don't know what happened. The presents were here one minute and gone the next. I can't imagine where they got to. Wait, what do you mean? Breaking news here in Brookhaven. The entire town was met with a disappointing surprise this morning when every citizen awoke to an empty space under their tree. That's right, folks. Every single present and gift under every single tree has gone missing this Christmas. It was not a Christmas miracle. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Meanwhile, Christmas morning. All right. Wow. This must be the first Christmas morning I've been excited about. Well, ever. I'm going to go into town now. I can't wait to see everyone's miserable faces. Ooh, I am so excited. I bet they'll be saying things like Christmas is the worst holiday in the world. <laughs> Meanwhile, Christmas is the best holiday in the world. As always, our town has exceeded my expectations in every way. It takes a really special community to come together and celebrate when all of the carefully picked out gifts and presents have been burglarized. But I think we've all learned an important lesson from all of this, which is that we don't need presents to love Christmas. We just need to be together to celebrate being together and our wonderful friends and families. Because after all, the best present is our presents. Ah, uh, dang it! How is everyone still happy? This is... I just don't understand. They all just love each other. Well, that's just... I don't know. It's... Well, maybe they're not as awful as I thought they were. Well, we tried, but I guess Santa just doesn't care about little old Sky. At least we really gave it our all, but who knows? Maybe Santa will surprise us. Maybe your mom will get what she needs. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe Santa just didn't care. A few moments later. Well, Max, you're gonna think I'm a really strange so-and-so, but I think I'm gonna have to give all these gifts back. In fact, they were never mine to take in the first place. Moments later. Attention, Brookhaven! I have all your missing presents right here. Yes, I'm the one who took them. I guess I just didn't understand the holiday. I resent all of you for being happy to be with your families and have fun with your loved ones, because the truth is that I don't really have any loved loved ones. I grew up in an orphanage. My parents gave me away and never came to visit. All I have is my dog. That's it. But I'm sorry that I ruined your holiday with all of my issues. I promise you I will never do it again. And especially you, Sky. I never meant to make you feel like Santa doesn't care about you. In fact, if you want, I can come help your mom run errands and babysit from time to time. If you think it would help her feel less stressed out, Oh, wow. Well, thank you, mister. Grinch, just call me Grinch or Grinchy if you want. Definitely Grinchy. Yeah, Grinchy, let's go for some Christmas ice cream. Great idea. Thank you for including me and Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh, good morning, Brookhaven. Wow, just another normal day doing normal stuff. I guess I'll just get ready for school. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. How could I forget? It's Christmas. My favorite day of the year. To go down just in case my parents are still wrapping and arranging them perfectly. I really just want this Christmas to be amazing and perfect. No, I can't wait any longer. I'm going down. Yeehaw! Good morning. Merry Christmas. Hey, uh, where are all the presents? Well, we already gave each other all of our presents. We didn't get any for you. Yeah, we discussed it and we almost got you presents, but then decided that you just weren't good enough this year. Well, what about Santa? Did he think I was good enough this year? I wrote him several letters and I'm pretty sure they said some pretty nice things in there. He agreed with us. He didn't think you deserved any presents this year. Yeah, and frankly, my dear, you're lucky that you didn't get a lump of coal from him. That's what he gives to the little buggers who don't behave well. We do, however, still have the presents we were going to give you. So now we need to return them all to the store. And don't you dare try to keep any of those presents. We'll know if any item is missing from your return list. We expect a full refund. Okay, well, at least this way I would have known what I would have gotten if I lived in a world where parents gave me presents. Yeah, 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 whatever. Take the gifts and don't dilly-dally. We expect you back at the house soon. Moments later. Wow, these are some really great items. May I ask why 
why you're returning all of them? Well, they were supposed to be my presents, but my parents said I didn't deserve presents this year. I didn't behave well enough to get them. Wow, that's intense. Sorry, I didn't mean to dump all my feelings on you. I'll just go outside and be alone. Oh, and don't forget your receipts. Oh, right, thanks. Hey, for what it's worth, my parents are also kind of mean. They are? No, they aren't. I was just trying to make you feel better. But my parents are actually super cool and are my best friends. Sometimes we even wear matching outfits to take photos together. Oh. A few moments later. <laughs> moments later. I've returned all the gifts and I have the receipts. Never mind with all of that. The house is filthy. You must clean it at once. Get to work, girl. Stop dilly-dallying. All right, all right. I'm on it. Thankfully, we had a wonderful Christmas feast because you were out of the house. Yes, it was wonderfully peaceful without you here. Is there any leftover food that maybe I could eat? We'll see. It depends on how well you do with the cleaning. Although, given your terrible performance in the past, I wouldn't bank on it. Okay, then. Two hours later. All right, I finished all the cleaning. Mom, Dad. Oh, they must be taking a nap. I guess I'll just go for a little walk. No harm in that. Mackenzie, is that you? Oh, hey, Josh. Hey, Mackenzie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hey, Mackenzie. Yes, Josh? Are you going to that big Brookhaven Christmas dance thing tonight? Oh, I, I didn't even know something like that was happening. Oh, well, uh, if you could go, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go with me. Oh, Josh, I would love that. Awesome sauce. Meanwhile. Mom and Dad, I was wondering, since I returned all the gifts and got all my cleaning and chores done, would it be maybe possible for me to go to the big Christmas Brookhaven dance thingy tonight? Well, no, I don't think so. You see, your father and I were planning on going, and if you were there, it would totally kill the vibe for us. Yeah, we just wanted to go and have fun. And we can really only really have fun when you're not around. Oh, please, I promise I won't hang around you. You won't even know I'm there. Yeah, but I'll know you're there, and that's enough to make me have a bad night. Yeah, same. Don't worry, I'll get it. Sky! Hey, Candy, I ran right over because I really needed to show you my incredible dress that I'm going to wear tonight to the party. Wow, Sky, it's incredible. Isn't it? I saw it at the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I literally just fell in love. <laughs> so, what are you planning on wearing? You're not wearing what you have on, are you? Guys, it's cute and all, but I'm not sure it's party material. Um, no, Sky, my parents aren't letting me go to the dance. What? Oh my gosh, that is so terrible, Mackenzie. I hate that. I don't want to go without you. I know, I'll break up the party. I'll stay here with you all night and we can just watch back. you to go to the dance because josh asked me to go with him and he's gonna be wondering why i'm not there so i need you to tell him Ooh, okay then i'll do that but know that i'm always doing this under duress and because you want me to go and do this favor for you in my heart and soul i am staying home with you and boycotting it okay okay yes guy i know this now get out of here go to the party have fun girly okay love you girly love you too <sighs> meanwhile 
Meanwhile, people of Brookhaven, Merry Christmas! I hope everyone enjoys themselves and let's all dance! Wow, Ronald, that was a fun kickoff to the party! Thanks, Laura the Reporter. Smooth moves. Thanks, I've been practicing all of these cool TikTok dances. Well, it's paying off. Maybe I should get on TikTok. If you do, you have to follow me, Mr. Mayor. I could use a high-profile follower like you. Consider it your Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Mayor. Merry Christmas to you, too. Wow, this is the best party ever. Yeah, I'm having the dopest time. I am so we didn't let Mackenzie come to this. Me too. Hey, Sky, have you seen Mackenzie? Oh, yeah, actually, she wanted me to talk to you. Oh, uh, did she decide that she hates me and didn't want to come to the dance with me anymore? What? No, she just wanted me to tell you that she's sorry she couldn't make it. But her parents wouldn't let her come tonight. Oh, bummer. Totally. Meanwhile... instead of in this building. Yeah, I think we need to go outside. I just feel like I really want to be out there. I don't know why we're all walking this way all of a sudden, but it just feels right. Like it's meant to be or something. It's so weird. Like almost like this is the way things were meant to go. Like a premeditated shape that our lives were meant to take or something. I don't know. Am I getting too spiritual? Probably. I'll stop talking now. Hey! better not have made a mess in the house. What a beautiful night to be out walking with everyone. Truly. Meanwhile. Oh, oh, well, at least I got to see Destiny. Even if nothing changes, that was a really nice thing for me that happened. <gasps> Josh, Sky, what are you two doing here? I don't know. It was the strangest thing. But all of a sudden, everyone at the party just felt like going outside and walking down the road to your house. Yeah, I didn't realize that's where we were going, but I'm really happy to see you, Mackenzie. Let's get Mackenzie, do you want to dance? Sure, Josh, I would love to. Mackenzie, this is somehow all your fault. Now go to your room right now, young lady. You're grounded. Fun and games of pizza slice turn these parents from me to nice. Wow, Mackenzie, your dance moves a second ago were amazing. I'm so glad that we get to spend the holidays with you, Mackenzie. Yeah, we love you so much. You do? Really? You have no idea how much that means to me. I've waited so long to hear both of you say that to me. Well, get ready to hear it a lot more from now on. I'm so happy. Everything is finally amazing. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Okay, for Christmas this year, I want a magic mixie, a new Squishmallow, ooh, Squishmallow slippers, some new clothes, mini brands, Disney mini brands, Robux, the new iPhone, an Apple Watch, and hmm, what else? My Ugh, Mackenzie, we're always full of such pathetic excuses. Now we're all here to listen to what your sister wants for Christmas, so I expect you to be taking copious amounts of notes. What does copious mean? Do you not know anything? Oh, it's okay, Mom. If Mackenzie is tired, she doesn't have to keep taking 
notes from my Christmas list. Oh, don't be silly, honey. We don't care how Mackenzie feels. You know that. Just think of her as our little helper elf. You do know I'm standing right here and can hear you, right? Come on, Mackenzie. Less talking, more writing. Okay, okay, fine. I'm all the way up to the Apple Watch. But after I finish writing everything down, maybe, Noelle, you can write down what I want for Christmas? I've been really good this year, and I think I've even made Santa's nice list. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is it? Oh, is my present hidden somewhere here in the house? Is that the joke? Like, you already bought it, so there's no need to write it down? Oh, no, not at all. We're laughing because what makes you think that we got you any presents at all? Oh, my God, stop. This is too funny. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, McKenzie. It's not like we'd ever waste our hard-earned money to buy you a present. Like, really, we're not here to shop for you. You're just here to listen to what your sister wants and write it down. Come on, guys. That's, like, really mean. But, but what about all the notes that I wrote to Santa? He'll for sure bring me something, right? Get real, McKenzie. There is no Santa. And besides, all those letters you wrote to him, I took out of the mail and made into paper airplanes. <laughs> this is gonna be the worst Christmas ever! <laughs> Moments later. Mackenzie, what are you doing? Um, I know you're here just to cheer me up. And I really appreciate it, but I really just need to cry and be alone right now. Oh, I wasn't coming here to cheer you up. You weren't? No, why would I do that? I'm downstairs with Noelle decorating the tree. Then why are you in here? Well, I came to find you to ask you to come downstairs. We're discussing all the holiday traditions we want to do and how to get them all done in time for Christmas. You want me there because you want me to be included? Ew, no, we want you there because we need someone to take note of all the fun things we are going to do as a family. You're not included, though. So come on, shake a leg. We need you downstairs. Meanwhile. Okay, so of course, we're going to need to go ice skating and Christmas caroling and make Christmas cookies. Mackenzie, you better be writing all of this down because I am not going to stop. Okay, okay. Oh, what about writing letters to Santa and bringing them to him at the mall? What a fantastic idea, honey. Mackenzie, make sure you get down your sister's idea. Wait a minute. Hold up. If there's no such thing as Santa, then why are we writing him letters? And most importantly, who are we going to see at the mall? Ugh, Mackenzie, do you always have to make everything about you? God, no wonder nobody wants to hang around you. Just because Santa doesn't want to bring you anything doesn't mean he's not going to be there for other more appreciative children who were better this year. Wait, I'm so confused. Are you saying that there is a Santa? Would it kill you to keep up? Of course there's a Santa, just not for you. And it's not like he's real or anything. He's just the one in the mall. I'm still confused. Well, hopefully you can be confused and right at the same time. Faster! What kind of cookies do you want to make this year, Mom? Ooh, for sure, gingerbread. I think we're out of ginger, though, and eggs. So, Mackenzie, run to the store and pick up some. I'll pay you back eventually. But, Mom, Mackenzie's a Allergic to gingerbread. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll make sure to make a double batch then. That's a surefire way to get rid of her. Again, I'm standing right here and can hear you. Oh, good. You can hear. All right, then. Did you get that non-subtle hint to go to the store? Fine. I'm going. A few moments later. Um, why are we headed towards the grocery store and not the ice skating rink? Because I need to pick up ginger and eggs for my mom. But, girly, you're allergic to ginger. Yep. Probably one of my mom's attempts to try and get rid of me. Wow, I'm not sensing a lot of Christmas spirit here, girly. If it were up to me, we'd have all the tinsel and ginger bells in our hair. I don't know. I'm just not in a very jingle belly mood sky. What's going on? How can you not be in a Christmas spirit? I didn't know it was possible for anyone not to be in the Christmas spirit. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's probably because of how my family treats me. You know how they are, Sky. They put all their love and attention into Noelle and totally ignore me. Heck, even though just naming her Noel. They're pretty much admitting that that's their favorite child, especially during Christmas. You can't let them get to you, Kenzie. It's kind of hard not letting your family get to you around Christmas when technically the whole holiday is about being with your family. Well, that's not necessarily true. Christmas is about how you feel on the inside and being around people who make you feel special. I'm sure you're not the only one who has problems with their family around the holidays. It's like super normal. You're just saying that. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't know if you've ever watched a Christmas movie, but most of them center around having issues with their families. I guess, but I don't even think the Grinch treated the Who's as bad as my family treats me. I know what you need, girly. You need a trip to go see Santa. A few minutes sitting on his lap and telling him what you want, you'll forget all about this slump that you're in. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's kind of no such thing as Santa. My parents kind of broke the news to me today in a not very gentle manner. What do you mean that there's no such thing as Santa? I'm sorry, Sky. I should have to be the one to break it to you. Well, that's not the reason I'm so perplexed. Well, what's the reason then? If you say there's no such thing as Santa, then who is that man over there? Oh, come on, Sky. It's almost Christmas. I'm sure there's people dressed up as Santa on almost every block trying to fool kids. Well, maybe, but maybe if you go over and talk to him anyways, that you'll feel better. You know, try and reclaim some of the magic your parents took from you. I don't really see how it's going to work, but if it means that much to you, I guess I'll go and talk to him. There you go. You're getting your Christmas spirit back. Already. Bah humbug. Meanwhile. Oh, 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 well, hello there, Mackenzie. How can I help you? Um, how did you know my name? Wait, you're not just like a dad from school, are you? Why, of course not. I am Santa Claus. I know the names of all the little boys and girls. Right, of course you do. Anyways, my best friend wanted me to come over here and talk to you. So I'm kind of doing this for her. Wow, you seem like a wonderful friend, Mackenzie. And you've been a very good girl this year. Yeah, well, not everyone thinks so. Tell you what, how about you tell me what you want for Christmas this year and I'll do my best to try and make it happen. Really? Don't you think I'm a little too old to sit on Santa's lap and tell him what I want for Christmas? How about you just humor me? Fine. This year for Christmas, all I want, all I want is for my parents to love me. I just want to be their favorite child and for once have them not be upset with me all the time. Well, Mackenzie, I can't make any promises, but I'll try my best to use some Christmas magic and get you just what you want for Christmas. The next morning. Morning, Mom. Morning, Dad. Good morning, my little snowflake. Merry Christmas Eve. How did you sleep? Fine. Is something going on? Why would something be going on? We're just greeting our favorite daughter for the morning and whipping you up a batch of special eggnog pancakes to celebrate Christmas. <gasps> oh my god, it worked! It's a Christmas miracle! That was the real Santa. Santa is real! And he brought me exactly what I asked for. And it's not even Christmas yet! What are you saying, honey? Oh, nothing, Mom. Well, eat up, because we have a big day planned. After breakfast, let's go shopping, and you can tell me everything that you want for Christmas. Wow, okay, sounds great. Is Noelle awake yet? She'll probably want to know that the time that we're leaving. Sorry, who? Noelle, my sister, your other daughter. Kiddo, are you feeling okay? Yeah, wait, what's going on? Where is she? Is she hiding somewhere and she's gonna jump out and scare me? No, Mackenzie, you're the one who's scaring us. You don't have a sister. You're our only child. No, 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 you know her, Noelle. She's a few years younger than me. And you know, she's like the light of your entire lives. No, I'm pretty sure we would remember if we had another child. Oh my god, the Christmas miracle made my sister disappear! A few moments later. Bowie, what is it? Are you trying to knock the door down or something? Sky, this is an emergency. Do you remember what we did yesterday? Um, are you having a nervous breakdown? Just answer the question. You were in a bad mood and you went to go talk to Santa and are you feeling okay? Yes, yes, and I told him what I wanted for Christmas and do you know who Noelle is? Uh, your sister? I'm sorry, Kenzie, you're starting to scare me. Oh, trust me, I'm scared too. Because apparently you were right. Santa is real. See, I told you I was right, and you never listened to me. So, did he answer your Christmas wish? Oh, he answered it all right, and he made me my parents' favorite child. But by doing that, he made Noel disappear. I need to find him right away and get him to reverse it. Oh, look, I hate to point out the obvious, girly, but... But what? It's Christmas Eve, his busiest day of the year. There's no way he's not already out delivering presents. But it's still only morning. We have time. Yeah, it's morning in Brookhaven, but not all. Australia and Japan, they're at least 12 hours ahead of us, meaning almost Christmas. I don't care what it takes. We have to find Santa and save my sister. One eternity later. Should we maybe try Starbucks? Come on, Sky, think. Why would Santa need to go to Starbucks? For fuel to help him stay awake when he's flying his sleigh, duh. Sky, look, it's him. Santa, Santa, do you remember me from yesterday? Why, of course I do. I know you very well, Mackenzie and Sky. Two girls on the very nice list this year. I'm glad you're doing so well in school. Oh, thanks, Santa. Wait, are you stopping at the grocery store for milk and cookies? Isn't that what every 
everyone leaves out for you? Well, yes, but nobody likes the exact milk I like. Those hippies leaving me all these kinds of nut milk. Sometimes it's just easier if I pick it out myself. Now, I don't mean to rush you, but this is a very big night for me, and I have a lot of presents to deliver. We'll make this quick. It's about what I asked you for yesterday. Why, yes, I put a lot of Christmas magic into that one. Was something wrong with it? I'll say. I mean, it made me my parents' favorite child, but it also made my sister Noelle disappear. Oh, but you got what you wanted, though. All your parents' love and attention. No, no, that's not what I wanted. I mean, I thought it was, but not without my sister. Without my sister, nothing else matters. I was wrong before complaining about my family. She is my family. The only thing that makes my life good is Noelle, and I will do anything to get her back. Why? Okay. I've never had a request before to reverse a Christmas wish, but if it's to bring back a loved one, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Anna. Well, I better run. The reindeer get a answer. See if I take too long. Hey, uh, before you go, do you happen to have someone named Ashley on the naughty list? Guy! The next morning. Oh my gosh, it's Christmas! I don't even care about presents, though. The only present I want is for my sister to be downstairs. Uh, it's about time you're up. You're supposed to be collecting the wrapping paper off the floor. Yeah, would it kill you to make us Christmas breakfast? Gosh, you're lazy. Noelle! Oh, uh, hey, sis! Merry Christmas, Noelle! I am so happy to see you! Um, yeah! Merry Christmas to you, too! Today, I'm gonna be creating a Christmas-themed Roblox account to celebrate the jolliest holiday of all! Now grab your ho-ho-ho-ho cocoa and get comfy because I'm gonna be creating three different Christmas-themed looks! First, I'll be creating a Christmas Day look, then I'll be creating an Elf look, and finally, I'll be creating a Mrs. Claus look! <laughs> Now we have to do the birthday of Christmas, which is obviously on Christmas, which is December 25th. I could never forget that one. That's my most favorite day of the year. And then for the year, let's just pick any random year because Christmas happens literally every single year. Username is Christmas time. No, someone already has Christmas time. Christmas is the best. It is the best holiday ever. But someone else must have already known that because I already took it. What about a Christmas cutie? Ooh, that's a cute name. Oh, someone already got that one too? These people are ruining my life. Christmas time of year cutie. Okay, that is way too long. That was not good. That was so random. Mr. Christmas time. What? How do I have all the same ideas as someone else? What about Christmas is here, cutie? <gasps> it's available! I mean, Christmas is here, cutie. And then the password? It's gotta be a Christmas password. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, though. It's a Christmas secret. And then I'm gonna choose a girl because I wanna dress it up girly. <laughs> What is this? This is not Christmas time. It looks like she's dressed for the fall. She's got a jean jacket on. No, this cannot be happening. Now let's find an outfit that I can wear on Christmas Day. Ooh, maybe I can like match the sweater I'm wearing right now. The first thing that pops up is a Santa hat. Can't celebrate Christmas without wearing a Santa hat. I feel like it should just be illegal. <laughs> the first thing I'm buying, like literally, it was recommended to me. I need to get some hair, some Christmassy hair. These ones even come with the Santa hat. <gasps> Ooh, these are streaked red and green. Ooh, should I streak my hair for Christmas? Oh my God, look at this boy hair here. It's literally candy cane hair. Ew, it looks so spiky and creepy. Ah, it's so flaily. It's all over the place. It's like this guy hasn't showered in like a year. There's cute little antlers. Oh, I love antlers. This reminds me of the antlers that the Grinch made Max wear. Poor little puppy. I can do blonde hair with red tips at the bottom too. That looks kind of cool. Actually, it kind of looks like flames. Not very Christmassy. Oh my God, here's the candy cane hair, but for the girls. I would not want to have hair like this on Christmas morning. What if I actually mistake it for a candy cane and I go to eat my hair? Then what, huh? Oh, I wish there was more Christmassy hair. This one's really cute. Pigtails are perfect for Christmas morning. Because you don't have to curl or straighten your hair. You don't even have to put that much effort into it. You just wake up and your hair's kind of ready to rock. And the antlers, they're a good touch. A good Christmas spirit decoration in your head. This reminds me of what I looked like when I was a kid. Aw, okay, I really like this one. Okay, okay, now I want to find a cute Christmas sweater. Oh, cute. They have cute 3D ones too. A butterfly sweater. Where's a butterfly on this? Oh, I see a paw print. Like a puppy paw print. Oh my gosh, that is way too oversized for me. Why are the Sleeve so poofy. Looks like I have no hands. This one has like little deer on it. So I want to find one like that. Deer Christmas sweater. Ooh. This one looks pretty similar. Ooh, it has Christmas trees on it too. Oh my god, we're twinning. There's a lot of contenders though. Like look at this one. This one over here. Oh my god. This one could be really close. This one the same? I mean, it doesn't have a turtleneck like me though. Oh, this is like a red sweater with a white design, but I want a white sweater with a red design. Sorry, it's complicated. <gasps> what about this one? Why are the little reindeer so cute? They're just hopping along. This one has sleeves like mine and it has a neckline like mine too. Okay, I think this 
this one is the perfect one. So comfy on Christmas morning. First thing I'm gonna do on Christmas is wake up and make hot chocolate. I gotta have a hot chocolate before I go and open up all my presents. And then for pants, let's just see what kind of Christmas pants there are. Ooh, these ones are shorts. These are probably PJ shorts and socks. I love the little knee-high socks with the balls on them. They look so floofy and cozy. I'm actually wearing floofy socks right now. Do these pants match my sweater? Okay, that just might be too much matchy though. I'm gonna look like a human ornament and I do not want that to happen. I gotta look somewhat fashionable, okay? Oh, these snowflake pants? Oh, I really want it to snow. It hasn't snowed yet. At least not where I live. Okay, okay. I want to find a cute red skirt. Oh, this skirt is really cute. And it has the knee-high socks with bows on it. I love a good bow. And I love the frilly stuff for the pants. Okay, I think I'm going with these ones. Cute. You know, they have candy cane confetti. Candy cane floating around my head. Oh, they have lots of antlers down here, too. Oh my god, I just want to eat them all around me like I'm should I wear Christmas glasses too? <gasps> the reindeer glasses will match my reindeer ears. You can't go wrong with a little Christmas matching on Christmas morning. And if I want to keep COVID out, I can wear this Christmas mask. There's literally so many different Christmas items that you can buy here. I don't even know where to go. <gasps> I should get earrings. I always wear earrings, especially on Christmas morning. Gotta wear the stocking earrings from Claire's. Those are my favorite. Jeez, these are heavy. These are gonna be a lot on my earlobes, but we're gonna buy them. I gotta suck it up. It's for beauty. All right, it's time to put up my whole Christmas morning outfit. Now, if this isn't the perfect Christmas Day outfit, I don't know what is. Last year's Christmas family photos got nothing on me. This year, I'm gonna look fabulous. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, but uh, why are you in an elf costume and why are you in my room? Oh, sorry, pal. I just wanted to let you know we're about to take our yearly family Christmas photo, so get changed and come on down. Wait, what? What? You didn't forget we're all dressing up as elves this year, did you? Your mom reminded you about a thousand times. Oh, uh, no, I didn't forget, but can't I wear this this year? It is the perfect Christmas Day outfit, Dad. Ah, yes, you look very festive, Mac, but you know your mom, and if you're not in an elf costume and downstairs in five minutes, she might burn the tree down. Ugh, fine. Your mom's gonna be very happy, so thank you. See you in five minutes. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna put together an elf costume in five minutes? And she sends Christmas cards to everyone in Brookhaven, so I've got to look cute. <laughs> All right, time for me to dress up as an elf. Do I have to be a red elf? Ooh, maybe I'll be a pink elf. That's a good idea. I'm gonna be a pink elf. Hopefully they have a pink elf outfit. Okay, let's start with some hair. What kind of hair do elves wear? Elf hair. No, not regular elves. I need to be a Christmas elf. I guess they don't really have specific hair. They just kind of wear like elf hats. Yeah, sort of one like this. Okay, okay. I think I'll just go with my hair down so that way my hat fits perfectly. This one's a cute one. One of my favorites. Oh, but it also could be cute to do some layered waves in here. Ooh, this looks pretty elfy to me. See, this is so cute. Oh my god, I really like this one. Kind of look like a movie star. A movie star elf. Okay, I need to be a pink elf, though. I hope there's pink. Oh, there is. Oh, is this the elf from Elf? Literally, elf from Elf. Yes, elf the movie. It's a really pretty one. There's also this type of elf, and this is also really cute, too. Ooh, I think I like this one better. Better have matching pants. If it doesn't have matching pants, I am gonna be upset. Oh god, where's the elf pants? Where's the elf pants? Whoa, the green and red ones are so cute, though. This one's adorable. I'm kind of jealous. I kind of wish I went with the red and green now. No, who am I kidding? Pink's my favorite color. A pink elf? Like, that's so adorable. <gasps> what about this? Is this the same matching pants? This could work. I think this one could work really well. I think it's like the same shade of pink, so it could be perfect. Alright, I'm gonna buy this one. Hopefully it matches. If it doesn't, there's some other pink ones here that I can try on too. Now a hat. I need a pink elf hat. Cute! They have a pink elf hat with hair. Oh my god, I didn't even see this one in the hair section. These are hard to find. Oh my gosh, this is actually adorable. Should I replace my hair with this one? The hair kind of looks slightly pink too. Oh, I think that's a double whammy. This is amazing. And I love how it's a side bang, just like me. No, we're buying it. We have to. We have no other choice. And elf ears. You can't be an elf without elf ears. Valentine's elf ears? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I like this. All the piercings are freaking me out. I just want like normal elf ears. Like what about these ones? Oh, these are droopy elf ears. Why are they so droopy? It's like they're dog ears. They don't even look like an elf. Elf ears are supposed to poke up, aren't they? I like these Christmas sea ones. I might want to go with these ones. They're not pink, but they are very festive. See, these are perfect. They'll poke out right from my hat. A pink Christmas cookie. Elves love Christmas. Christmas cookies. Actually, elves love anything with sugar in it. Oh my gosh, my elf would love this. I would love this. I think I'm gonna go make some cookies after this. What about a pink Christmas present? Elves are always working on those Christmas presents. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my god, I just turned her side like that. Yeah, I need this one. All right, I'm gonna put this outfit all together and I will see you guys for my family photo. Okay, I'm ready. Finally. Merry Christmas, honey. You look amazing. I knew the elf team would be a success. 
Thanks, Mom. Merry Christmas. What are we waiting for? Your mom went big this year and actually hired a photographer. What? He should be here any minute. What are the odds? That must be him. Coming. Ugh, Matt, can you get the door? I've got to fix your dad's buttons again. Not like this can get any worse. What? Nothing. I'll grab the door. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, Kenzie. You look great. Josh? Oh, uh, thanks. So do you. I didn't know you were a photographer. Oh, yeah. My family doesn't celebrate Christmas, so I dress up as Santa every year and take pictures of or with families. Santa really sells. Wow, that's cool. But your family actually doesn't celebrate Christmas? Like no trees or lights or gifts or desserts or... Honestly, we normally just spend the day with each other. Oh, well, that sounds nice. But I would love to take you out later if you have time. We could walk around and look at all the Christmas host lights around our block. Yeah, I'd love to. Sweet. Meet me at mine at 8 and dress up. Now, are we going to get this thing going? Because I sort of have another family I have to shoot in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on over here. Hmm. I wonder what he meant by dress up. Wait, I know. I should totally be Mrs. Claus. It's going to take me forever to find a cute Claus costume. Oh, forget the family photo. They can Photoshop me in. Since Josh is looking like Santa Claus, I need to match him and dress like Mrs. Claus. Mrs. Claus has white, short, curly hair. Oh, she looks old. She's got a lot of wrinkles, too. No offense. Wow, she's got a big coat on. She's kind of like Santa, but the girl version. Let's start with her hair. We need gray, white, curly hair. Oh, cute. They've got lots of these. Oh my gosh, this one is so spiky. This is extra curly. Is this boy hair or is this Mrs. Claus hair? I don't really like it. It kind of looks like snakes or like lightning or something weird. Hmm, none of these hairs really fit Mrs. Claus. Claus. What if I give her longer hair? I can make her more of a fashionable Mrs. Claus. A more up-to-date Mrs. Claus. Yeah, because I don't want to make her look ugly. Like, she obviously has to look cute. And personally, I think this hair is really, really cute. So I'm going to buy this one. Now, Mrs. Claus. Do they have a specific Mrs. Claus outfit? How come I search Mrs. Claus and this is what they're giving me? This is just not it, Roblox. Oh my gosh, what about this? It's a crop top and a skirt. I don't know if Mrs. Claus would ever wear this. Ah, it makes you look so boxy. This is nothing for my figure. What about this one? This is, like, literally perfect for Mrs. Claus. Oh, I want for Christmas is this dress. Literally, me too. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect outfit for Mrs. Claus. And the belt? It's literally Santa Claus, but a girl. Oh, I didn't think I'd find a perfect match, like, right away. That was quick. I think I should get her, like, white gloves or something. Something to put on her hand. Oh, cute. There's little mittens here. Oh, these ones don't even go on her hands. They just go in her side pocket. Are there any of them that go on their hand? What about these ones? Winter gloves. Aha! These ones go on the hands. Now we're talking. It looks like Lego hands, though. I mean, essentially, that's kind of what Roblox characters look like, though. Okay, we'll buy them for now. Now, they're kind of cute. No, I am not giving Mrs. Claus a beard or a mustache or whatever this is. That is just disrespectful to her. But I do need to give her a cute Christmas hat. Oh, what about this Christmas hood? It could be adorable for Mrs. Claus. Oh my gosh, that is the biggest hood I have literally ever seen. I kind of love it. Why am I obsessed with it? I feel like with my hair on, it will fit perfectly though. I'm going to buy it. I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to buy it. You can't go wrong with a big fluffy hood like this. What other Santa things do they have here? They have a Santa hat with cat ears. Oh. You can even dress your cat up as saying a sleigh. Can you get a full sleigh? Can you sit inside this sleigh? If they have a blue sleigh, they better have a red sleigh. Oh my gosh, you can't sit inside this sleigh. They have a red sleigh right here. Oh my God. <gasps> this is so cute. Wow, I'm gonna save this for later. This is adorable. And it's only 80 Robux. That's kind of a steal. Oh my gosh, they have an animated Santa face. This kind of creeps me out. I'm not gonna lie. Why is there so many white dots on it? You only need like one pupil. What about cookies? Mrs. Claus always brings Santa cookies. Oh my gosh, she can't bring him a Santa cookie. That would just be evil. He can't eat himself. A gingerbread cookie. This is a perfect one. Oh, it's a scared gingerbread cookie because he's about to be eaten. No, Mrs. Claus can't be eating the cookie herself. How about a purse? Mrs. Claus needs a purse. Present purse. This is perfect. Aw, that's adorable. Or should we do the fluffy purse? It matches her outfit a little bit better. And Mrs. Claus seems like the type to have a big bag. Yeah, this is perfect. It can hold all of her stuff in it. She's got a lot of stuff when she's loading up for the Christmas holiday season. All right, it's time to put my Mrs. Claus outfit on. Josh and I are gonna look so cute as Santa and Mrs. Claus walking around tonight. I really hope he likes it too. Kenzie, is that you? I like the costume, but what's the occasion about? Oh my gosh, you meant dress up warm, not dress up in a costume, huh? Oh god, now I feel stupid. What? No, you look great. It just took me by surprise. That's all. Uh, give me five more minutes and I'll go put on my costume, okay? Wait, what? You're gonna dress up too? Well, of course. You can't be Mrs. Claus without a Santa, can you? I guess not. Thanks, Josh. You're the best. I wish I looked as good as you with white hair. I... I... I, uh... I'll go put on my costume, okay? Stay right here. I'll just be a minute. Okay. Well, that could not have been more embarrassing. 